forgot to switch this. Hold on. Uh, there we go. Hello! <laughs> Live from Huntsville, Alabama! Evan Freiberger! <laughs> Hello! Hi, Proxima. How you doing? Thank you for the $45 donation. She says, looking forward to the excellent and informative stream tonight. Thanks to Evan for doing everything he can to keep us safe. No problem. No problem. Let me make this a little bit smaller. There we go. Hello, everybody. Welcome. Welcome to the stream. Let's see who all is here. Shiori is here. How you doing? Jackson is here. Um, Kreese is here. Hello. Um, let's see here. <laughs> Cheers and fries. <laughs> Lol. Lola is here. Hello. Hola. She says, Hola, Evan. Lo esta haciendo bien. I don't know what that means, but hi. <laughs> Maybe I'll catch up on some Spanish. Um, uh, Blondie is here. Awesome. 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 Seems like the whole crew is here, ready to cover the storms. And first, what we're going to be doing tonight is doing some news. We already have some news coming in. Thanks to Shiori, she has been compiling some news already. So, oh, also, I might have a little bit of, a, I might have a little uh, surprise for you guys, which is, um, I have a new... Overlay. Kind of like the same one, but it's a little bit more spiffy. Probably a little bit more distracting. But let me know what you guys think. First of all, uh, we have the news, which is today the Flood Operations Center supplied sand 6,000 sandbags and equipment to a levee location on Deer Creek in Sacramento County. There, our partners at the California Conservation Corps deployed the rescue and secured the site. So as you can see, people are getting ready for the rain here in California. Yes, it is fancy. Uh, and also, we have uh, in Hopeland, or Hopland, we have road closures. Uh, per Caltrans District 1, Highway 175 near Hopland, uh, right here, if you're familiar with this area, uh, there's a road closure due to flooding. So flooding is already being reported. Uh, here in um, Mendocino County, there is a uh, another road closure due to... Uh, flooding on the highway as you can see there is a picture here I would assume this area down here near this uh, river is where that flooding is happening uh, so there is some information there okay and here is um, so this is I guess the flooding that's happening near highway 171 is caused um, by the increase Apparently, so this is by Hopland. Okay, so this is the flooding that was caused by Hopland. Uh, it's the Russian River is over its flood stage. Um, and it looks like it's dropped recently and it's coming back up. Uh, but I think this is actually a little bit old. Is it January 22nd? Okay, so I guess this is current. Or no, this is current. Okay, this is the prediction. Dang, Chazzy! You good? <laughs> My dog just randomly goes crazy sometimes for no reason. Okay, I, I think I'm reading this right. So I, I think this is the where it is currently, and then this purple is the prediction. Um, so yeah, that's what's causing the flooding there. A little, um, a little message from the Sonoma County Fire District saying, be sure to have plenty of supplies, be ready for the power outages, stay vigilant, check back um storm updates so this is the nws bay area predicting um at least from today into sunday um up to about one 1.5 inches but it's mainly this area north of san francisco that we're watching today 
uh, that we actually have a moderate risk today of flooding, um, of excessive rainfall. And then going into Tuesday, uh, that is when we're going to see, I think this is the day three from now, which is, uh, we're, we have a huge moderate risk, and we're going to go over all of that here soon. Uh, just going to go through the rest of these. Also, wind gusts are going to pick up again, and power outages will be possible, especially the closer you are to the coast. Um, from Saturday into Sunday, the more of a chance we're going to have uh, for these higher winds that can knock out power. Um, luckily for most of the people inland, it's not going to be as bad, but as you go up into higher elevation, uh, you can expect to see those winds pick back up my music is just a tad too loud in my ear let me just turn this down a bit and that is that is the latest there um for san francisco and that's gonna start that wind's gonna start picking up later on tonight uh what else super windy on the span got knocked around the lane also some small hail so some small hail was reported in Bay Bridge. So we're not just expecting a wind and rain, but also potentially some small hail. Um, and that could also pick up here in a little bit because we are going to be getting some deeper convection, most likely according to the models um, here in a little bit. But yeah, you can see the looks like the bridge is doing okay, but some of the cards are getting um, knocked around a little bit by the wind. Though this series of severe storms has brought a lot of water to California, they have not ended the drought. So official word from CAWR is that even though um, that this is a massive amount of rain and snow, uh, if conditions be would to turn dry again, uh, then it's it's not enough to end the drought. So the drought's not ended. Uh, so it's not time to celebrate yet, but uh, this is definitely making a dent and in, uh, in figuring out uh, in solving that drought. Uh, da, 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 da. All right. So that is the latest news. Now we're going to go over to. Oh, make sure I bring this up. All right, let's, let's read chat for a little bit. So let's see. Nothing but the lies it was supposed to be partly cloudy skies today and instead it was cloudy all day yeah it's uh hard to trust um those those weather apps all right so not only are we going to be covering this over here um so this is the models right here but what i want to do first here is bring up uh, that the moderate risk for flooding so if we go over here, no, that's the wrong one. There we go. Hydrological, bam. So we're back over to Radar Mega. Screw WSV3. <laughs> that that uh, program almost gave me an aneurysm the other day. Um, but here we are. Moderate risk here for today. We already have a flooding report here. Uh, highway 1 Point North at Garcia River at Okay, so we've already went over that. That was actually one of those things that we read online, I think. Um, but yeah, so if you live in Willis, Fort Braggs, uh, Mendocino, U Ukiah, Clear Lake, Santa Rosa, Ronert Park, uh, Petaluma, uh, Petaluma, uh, Nov Novato, Vallejo, and Fairfield, California, you guys are in a moderate risk of seeing some flooding here. Um, and then if you live in Salina, Soledad, King City, San Jose, Stockton, Sacramento, Lincoln, Yuba City, Chico, Redding, you guys are all in a slight risk of flooding today. And why is that? Well, let's look at the models. This is the latest model run of the HRRR, and as you can see, rain is about to make its way, or rain is already making its way into uh, the San Francisco area. Um, but then as we zoom out, we have a lot of these little cells and um, kind of uh, our cells with some pretty intense rain here making its way into land, especially where that moderate risk is uh, for excessive rainfall and flooding. 
Um, and that's going to continue all the way through the night into the early morning hours. Um, and then there's going to be another big round of, of rain here for Eureka and just south of Eureka and up north into uh, even Oregon. Um, you can see part of this uh, heavy rain here. Then moving this forward, it will start to have a little break here by Sunday at 11 a.m. But if we come back over to here, uh, then go over to the models yet again, and then go down to the NAM 12K, kind of get like a little four day look out into the future here. So moving this forward, you can see that rain comes through, kind of stops there Sunday, and then by Sunday night, it starts to pick up again. Going into Monday, there's still some rain sitting around the San Francisco, and then another round of rain comes through Tuesday. So we just basically have a continuation of this nonstop rain. Yeah, go back over here. Uh, let me move this forward a little bit because it, sometimes it's kind of hard to get a clear picture here. There we go. So that's just day one. So what's going to happen tomorrow? What's the risks for tomorrow? Well, tomorrow uh, we have a slight risk. It's not going to be as bad. Again, we're going to get a little break from that rainfall, but then it all starts to return uh, three days from now. So on day three, wait for it to load. What happened? What happened? Oh, that's the severe. Whoops. <laughs> hydrological there we go on day three that is going to probably be the most impactful day of this storm um, we have a moderate risk of flooding for oxnard santa barbara uh salinas fresno Vis visalia saint jose modesto stockton sacramento saint rosa san francisco so we have a lot of areas and look even if you live just north of Los Angeles, even in some parts of Los Angeles, uh, near Burbank, North Ridge, North Hills, West Hills, you are in that uh, near Semi Valley. Uh, you are in that uh, that moderate risk for flooding as well. That's going to be later on in the day. Oh, look, we have a severe thunderstorm warning. But yeah, so and we'll check out that severe thunderstorm warning uh, soon. So, so we're going to be bouncing back and forth um between texas and california but yeah so that is the outlook there so let's go look at the radar and check out the current conditions here i want to take off this hydro uh, where's that hydrological outlook does anybody have any questions by the way, is anybody that lived in this area have any questions? Speak up now before we get into the, the now coverage. I do want to go over here, though. Check out this area in Texas. So we have a severe thunderstorm warning over here in Panola, Texas. If you live in Carthage, oh, wow. There's actually some decently large hail with this storm. Uh, so if you live near Carthage, Texas, uh, uh, Fairplay, Holland Quarters, Ryderville, Antoc, uh, Midyet, DeBerry, Deadwood, and Sentiel, you guys need to be going into, uh, going indoors and away from windows, potentially have upwards to um, an inch hail, and possibly even bigger. This signal for hail here is pretty intense. Uh, so, you, you know, severe thunderstorms, they're pretty easy. All you got to do is be indoors and away from windows. Let me put this in motion for you guys so you guys can just kind of get a picture of what this storm looks like. Moving basically directly to the east or to the west there. And then we have all these other showers starting to pop up. So this is kind of what the risk is for today in this area. We had a sneaky little marginal risk pop up down here. There's no risk for tornadoes yet, uh, or no risk for tornadoes for uh, from this storm, uh, at least according to the SPC. And I agree with it. There's a, the dynamics aren't really there. Um, so, but we will pop back and forth from covering California back over to Texas, just to make sure uh, that everybody's covered uh, with these two different events. Coming back over here, let's kind of check in on the rainfall here near San Francisco. Uh oh, okay. Hard to tell. 
Let me try this radar. This radar get a better picture. Okay, it appears that we are still uh, waiting for this extra convection on the backside here uh, to pop up. But according to the models, that should happen any second. And so we'll just continue to uh, kind of just sit here, kind of like what we did yesterday. <laughs> no, uh, so these storms right here, these are the ones that are supposed to be popping up on the backside and they will, uh, they should, they should be some of the bigger rainmakers uh, fr from the day. But as you can see, we've already had some heavier rain fall here just near Los Banos um, and that's moving off towards Merced so if you live in Merced uh, you've got some heavier rain coming that way as well I'm sorry did anybody ask any questions do great with coverage and I'm a jeans guy all right when I wake up almost <laughs> sleep yeah uh, I am a sweatpants guy I have to admit Okay, I don't see any questions. Will this be heading South California? Yes, yeah, so uh, not today, but um, going into uh, Monday and Tuesday, you know, that's when that moderate risk for, you know, just north of, uh, of Los Angeles, going into Santa Clarita, Oxnard. You missed mine, scroll up further. What'd you say? Is there a specific display setting for reports? I have them turned on for Radar Omega and not seeing... Yeah, so you got to go here, storm reports. You could turn on tornado, wind damage, recorded wind, spotter hail, lightning strikes. Choose your time frames. And then you can turn on flood, flash flood. And then there's other. You can turn on water spout reports. No water spout reports and tropical reports, which uh, I really don't need to have on, to be fair. But yeah, as of right now, we only have one flood report uh, just to the the uh, west of Utica. At the time at 30 minutes. Yeah, so yeah, you don't want it on 30 minutes because then the report will kind of disappear before really anything can happen. Uh, let's go uh, back to storm reports. I just want to make, I just want to see what's kind of happened over the past uh, couple of days here. So it looks like uh, around one and a half days ago, we had some flooding eastbound SR 198 at Mineral King Road and Totem Market. Lots of flood reports here near Fresno. Another flood report near Merced. That was on the 5th. Uh, what's the day? Today's the 7th. Yeah, we're expecting this rain to pick up here shortly, though. Looks like it's a little late. No problem, Tyler. Is that the only reason you came here? <laughs> Just to ask me questions about Radar Omega? Can you send some? Can you send me some money, Evan? I really want Radar Omega. Um, no. Not gonna get in the habit of sending uh, people money, as I don't have enough money for myself. So since we're still waiting on that, let's go cover um, some of these storms here. I do want to kind of check out on this one. What's going on here? Let's go look at the velocities. Yeah, we're not expecting any tornado threat from this. Uh, but it is a pretty uh, pretty uh, impressive uh, severe thunderstorm um, in terms of the hail. So you definitely don't want to be caught outside uh, when this storm goes over you. I served as 14 Sierra Missile Defense. Oh, cool. My dad works in Missile Defense. Sounds from severe weather takes me back. Ooh. The coverage brings me relief. Thank you again. No problem. Is anything headed towards LA? Uh, you mean Louisiana? 
Uh, there are some storms over in Louisiana. Some could become uh, severe. This is kind of uh, the only risk for these storms as it exists right now. You know, you have some areas where there's some mo more, a um, little bit more elevated um, returns coming back from the radar here. This one's in a radar hole. We're not going to really be able to see these, unfortunately. Can I see them with this a little better? Yeah, I'm not sure. If she, I think she's talking about Louisiana. I'm not sure if she's talking about uh, like Los Angeles or Louisiana. Yeah, we have a pretty um, decent area here of heavy rain, really not moving too much. This could in itself become a flood threat um, if it doesn't move much. And we just get these storms training over the same area. Um, but yeah, those are the two threats. There's a marginal risk for flooding today down here. And then also um, every now and then we're going to get one of these uh, little severe thunderstorms pop up. You know, it looks like they don't last too particularly too long. I mean, there is still some decent hail with this. Again, uh, if you live in uh, Carthage, this is coming directly at you. Holland Quarters, Ryderville, Antoc, Deadwood, Midyet, Centennial, and DeBerry, Texas. You guys need to be indoors and away from windows. Let me, uh... There's a faster way to come back over here to California. We got to figure out a faster way. Chazzy, what are you doing? Oh, I know why this is taking so long to load. It's the METAR data. I guess we'll keep the METAR data on until it causes my computer to crash. As you can see, that convection is starting to increase a little bit out here. Um, and that should continue. Uh, throughout the night and this is what we're mainly going to be watching tonight here for near San Francisco and then coming up here towards uh, Eureka Fortuna uh, you can see wow there's actually some pretty heavy rain falling up here already uh, you can see that all of this rain here is kind of piling up on this little mountain range here if you live near Alder Point uh, Dinsmore, Bridgeville. I'm surprised we don't have any flooding reports over here. It must be moving pretty quickly. Uh, just to the west of Dinsmore. Okay, so this is Dinsmore's, and this is Dinsmore. Um, and then Jane's Place. You got some heavier rain coming to you. Um, you know, I think most of you guys are on a mountain, but you're, if you're near a creek on these mountains over here near Fortuna, you're going to have to be... Um, thinking about, you know, a place for high ground as this is quite a bit of rain falling here. Um, so, so yeah. And then also we have winds gusting up to 45 or 44 miles per hour all, already up here near Eureka and Fortuna. And you can see that there's also some storms forming um, here off the coast as well. And you can even see some all the way out here, um, even though it's that far away from the radar. We'll keep it up here for a little bit and we'll chat. Let's see, we got a something over here. Let's see. New message. Posted this. We have winds reported as well. Oh my gosh, where is that? Uh Shiori. Is that in San Diego? That can't be in San Diego. Oh, you're talking about Louisiana? Okay, that's what I thought. It looks like we have a little, uh, like a, a little tiny mezzo uh, cyclone in here. You can kind of see it's got that spinny motion right there. And because of that, uh, because of that uh, slight rotation, in the mid levels there um it's a, it's allowing some convection kind of like its own little mini uh cold front 
know, it's slinging some of this colder, rain-cooled air on the backside, and then it's running into some of this warmer air coming off the coast. And we are starting to see some increased convection also on the side there. And I know if you guys are from Texas or if you're from um, other states other than California, uh, this doesn't seem like a big deal but out here you know you really don't need that much rain for it to um for it to flood so that's orange county where's orange county where's my search box i'm confused hold on i'm missing my search box um did they move it hey hold on we're gonna restart this really quick i don't know where my search box went mm -hmm. give me one second there it is It's odd. We usually never get glitches with Radar Omega. Is Los Angeles in the risk? Um, not today, but on day three, northern Los Angeles is. Like right around this area near, uh, just to the north of Burbank, uh, Northridge, Chatsworth, Simi Valley, West Hills, they're all in that moderate risk for excessive rainfall. The main area which we're watching today um, is over here, just to the north of San Francisco. Actually, we're already, um, let me, uh, uh, let's see. I'm gonna turn off the METAR, I think. Nah, we'll keep it on. We already got a 40 mile per hour sustained wind gust, or sustained wind and a 48 mile per hour uh, wind gust over here near Yuba City. So winds are also picking up as you go higher. Is that a mountain over there or is that just... Hmm. That's not even a mountain. I guess it's just kind of some of that wind is making its way through the valley there. What's a what's a background screen? Yeah, let's go check back in over with this severe thunderstorm warning. Looks like that hail is starting to dissipate here, so um, potentially still, you know, uh, potentially there is still a chance for some quarter-sized hail. Just not going to be as much as it was as it was going over fair play. And it seems like now that a lot of this hail has died down, this storm is taking a little bit more of a south and easterly track, and it might go just to the south of Car Carthage. At least the heaviest rain will. There's also some lightning with this. So, again, if you live in Antoc, South Cartridge, Deadwood, you guys need to be indoors and away from windows. We have wind reports. Okay, so we have some news here. It's a little bit blurry, but it'll do. So coming over to the news. So this is a look in Orange County, California, as we had that wind pushes against the water and that water comes, actually made it over the sea barrier there. Um, and we had some, I don't know what time this was, um, but I know this is in Orange County and it pushed uh, over the seawall into, uh, I think this is Santa Cruz actually. So this is probably er this is probably a couple days ago. Shiori, make sure you're checking uh, the timestamps. We're trying to get news from today. But that's good, that's good update. It's a good update. I haven't seen that yet, so. The weather never takes a break and neither do I. <laughs> Yeah, what time is that posted, Shiori? Today, AM? Okay, so that's recent. 
uh, flooding there. Also, we also have... So, Birding Peep has posted some things today. This is a time lapse of something called Asparatos clouds. I call them asparagus clouds. Um, undulating over the San Francisco, California. And clicking this, you can see we do. I mean, that's what, what these Asparatos clouds. So if you live in this area and you've seen these, these are actually pretty rare clouds. Uh, they don't happen too often. And then we actually have a video um, of a, a video from Pacifica, California live cam from Birding Peep. Uh, she She's uh, kind of the queen of webcams. She has a map of all of the webcams, almost all of the webcams in, uh, in the United States. And this is a video, uh, let me get this bigger here. There we go. This is a video of that water crashing over that a seawall kind of similar to the, the photo we just saw and there's actually people and a dog what the hell i didn't see that when i first so there's a person there and a dog it looks like the dog and the human got pushed over wow and then the dog ran back and the human ran away from his dog oh my god Responsible dog parenting, not. Irresponsible, don't do this. If you live near the, the Bay Area, you guys have been seeing it. Don't get close to the ocean. It's angry right now. Oh wait, why, why is it on that page? Jeez, sorry. I don't know why I was on Severe Storm. You guys probably didn't see what I, sh what I was talking about. Um, but yeah, so there's that guy right there, and there's the dog. You can see it running. So if I move it back, so they're like right in this area, and the guy actually gets knocked over. There he is, and then the dog is like running around. He's like, what happened? And then the guy runs away from his dog, and the dog runs back towards the uh, seawall. Yeah, that was not very smart sorry about that i thought it was on the news page but this is from birding peep as you can see the queen of webcams uh come on over to her twitter give her a follow like and retweet some of this stuff she's very good at uh at finding webcams and getting cool clips so trust me it's worth it all right coming back over to the storms here you can see that uh, this storm appears to be reforming its hail core uh, just south of Carthage, and when that happens, the you know that hail sometimes gets pushed off a little bit more to the north. So we'll have to see if we start to get you know more of this hail into like a little bit further north into South Carthage. But regardless, if you live in Carthage right now, you don't need to be outside. Then just stay away from windows. Uh, but next in line for this severe thunderstorm is. Pleasant Ridge. Yeah. Me too, but you know. They they've gotta they've gotta be a little bit smarter out there. Especially when you're with your doggo, not and it's not on a leash. Like we have another storm here just south and west of Hollandale. Uh, that has some pretty elevated rainfall happening right now and also uh, potentially some uh, some hail falling uh, if this continues to build in strength here we might get a severe thunderstorm warning out of this shortly let's go over to the velocities there's actually a little bit of rotation with this storm as well wow yeah there's a little bit of rotation there interesting gonna watch this storm for a little bit let me go check back in california we'll come back to this storm I wasn't expecting any of these storms to rotate whatsoever so i kind of want to monitor that one just to make sure the atmosphere isn't doing anything it's not supposed to be okay so we still have some rain coming 
in from the uh, shore here near San Francisco. Uh, still not seeing any new reports. Let me uh, change the storm reports here. Back to 24 hours, so we're a little bit more up to date. Uh, and then coming up here near Eureka, Um, still have this heavy rain happening in the mountains. Saw a weird feature in there. Just want to check it out. Okay. But yeah, uh, still very heavy rain, and that's going to continue um, probably for the next uh, 10 to 20 minutes up there. So uh, you guys definitely uh, need to have a plan, especially if you live near a creek, to be near your are to be in your safe spots is this a 24-hour stream no <laughs> is it severe warned which one uh the one in texas or the one in mississippi so we do have one in texas that's severe warned is it supposed to be sleeting and snowing for me in tennessee um that was one of the possibilities it was very slim possibility of happening uh, let me go check in, in on that real quick for you. Go over to winter weather. Um, no, it's not supposed to be sleeting and snowing there in Tennessee. But it is uh, snowing up here near Columbia, uh, Missouri. Just south of Jacksonville, Illinois, is getting some snow. Charleston's getting a little bit of snow right now. Uh, let's uh, bring this back over to the regular radar. Hello, funny family. Welcome. What is your outlook for Northeast Buffalo area? Um, in New York? You talking about Buffalo, you New York, Todd? Just used to. I had one birthday, always frozen, and born in an ice storm. Wow. That is impressive. put this in motion western new york yeah buffalo okay just making sure I, i'm not sure if there's any other buffaloes it's typically just the same ones let me uh let me go look at that i'll look at that right after i check on these two storms here uh so here we have some hail it is moving in through uh south carthage mainly just a lot of hail uh and lightning the the main core of the hail is right here where you see these blacks and pinks um, as that moves off to the east, about to cross over Highway 59 there near Carthage, Texas. Now moving back over to Mississippi, I want to check this storm again because there was a little bit of rotation on this. I just want to make sure it dies. Nope, there's still rotation there. I mean, it's it's not strong whatsoever, but it, I was expecting to see zero rotation out of this out of these um, cells. So we're going to continue to come back and check with that one. I'm going to check to see if any of these other ones are trying to do the same thing. No, this is kind of the only one that's uh, got some broad and weak rotation, but it's still there. So let's go. We'll check on Buffalo for, um, for Todd. Nothing right now in Buffalo happening. Uh, but if we go over to the NAM 12K... And then we'll bring up precipitation time. Huh. It appears that there should be snow happening. Not a lot of it. Oh, we got to do a different model run. Yeah, a little bit of, you might see some snow. Um, and then by about Wednesday, um, over there in Buffalo, you start to get some of that heavier snow, but uh, it's hard to tell because this is pretty far out. This is about three and a half days out. Uh, 
So it could shift up a little bit more to the north. It could shift up, you know, a little bit further to the south, and nobody gets any snow out of that one. But it's a little, little uh, tiny bit of snow comes uh, pretty much straight out uh, from Minnesota there tracks all the way down through Lansing, Detroit, Cleveland, and then just south of Buffalo as of right now. This will change, the timing will change, the location will change, so uh, just keep that in mind. You know, if anything significant happens out of this, I'll release a forecast, but we should be live almost every, almost every day uh, moving forward here. All right, so what am I doing? I'm looking at the H triple R real quick. I want to see what the heck's going on down here. Mm, I know there's like not a lot of cape up there. Uh, I kind of want to look at max up draft felicity just really quick. Yeah, no big deal. I mean, there is some helicity that's supposed to happen up in that area. So maybe it's just happening a little bit prematurely and we're seeing a little supercell. Um, you know, there's also some helicity down here as well. So it looks like we will probably see a lot of these storms try to rotate. Let me see if the SPC has changed anything for today that maybe I didn't catch. Yeah, no, there's no tornado risk for today. There's a wind risk and there's a hail risk. So we'll probably see some of these storms spin, but none of them should drop a tornado, uh, according to the SPC. Turn all this off. And come back over here, turn on the radar. How's my day? It's been all right, it's been all right. A little slow, just kind of hanging out waiting for the weather to roll in so we could do some coverage did a little uh short today okay let's take off this metar data it's gonna get in the way um metar there okay so let's go back in and check on this severe thunderstorm as this is the only one uh that's happening right now the ring hasn't quite made it there uh, to san Francisco or to San Francisco or northern San Francisco. Looks like that hail um, is still there. They still have a severe thunderstorm warning and it's currently car pro crossing just south of Carthage now, um, directly over Highway 59 here, uh, still heading towards the Antok area. Check to make sure this one's not rotating yet. This one's not rotating. So this one's just a hail maker and wind maker. Uh, but if you know, if you live anywhere north of Carthage near Midyet, Centennial, you should be okay from this storm. It's mainly you guys down here in Antok, Deadwood, uh, that need to be indoors and away from windows. That moves off to the east. World weather? Um, I, you know what I, I know I found out the other day. So there was a there was a report that there's like a tropical storm or something trying to form over here. Oh, it looks like it is a tropical storm or a tropical cyclone. Yeah, tropical storm. They call them tropical cyclones, at least uh, down here in this area. And there's one right here, and I was like, you know what? If this if this hits um, Australia, we could do coverage of it. <laughs> so let your friends in Australia know if they ever get a if they ever get a hurricane. We can actually because look, we got radar. All around here, look, some rain happening over here near near Atherton and Innisfail. <laughs> I'd totally be down to cover Australia. I think that'd be pretty fun. I don't know if anybody from Australia would actually show up, but... All right, let's go back down to Earth. I want to go check in on this other storm again. Want to go check in on it. it was rotating and it still is but um it's kind of uh not really changing this is kind of what i'm expecting what i'm expecting now to see some updraft um like spinning um but not a lot nothing too tight nothing too scary but that i mean it is that's that's rotating 
and also potentially some hail crossing over highway 61 we are in mississippi with this one and this is kind of how it's going to be all day down here is just these little pop-up thunderstorms on this boundary um, that can potentially drop hail lightly rotate uh, mainly be a uh, heavy rain and wind threat not to rule out as you can tell uh, the occasional severe thunderstorm but our main focus after this happens is not going to be down here um, it should eventually shift over to here near san francisco uh, whenever this rain decides to cooperate uh, with the models <laughs> something about the models and and uh, and the west storms they're just off uh, let's go check back up near eureka still have some rain ongoing near eureka but it looks like for the most part um it is starting to dissipate but we do still have some rain off the coast so we're going to monitor that as it comes in looks like we got a flash flood warning let's go check that out what's going on here What happened? What is that? We have a flash flood warning in the middle of the Pacific. All right, you guys, if you live in this area, make sure you know you're going to seek a, seek a higher ground. I don't know why you're in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. <laughs> what a weird thing. Like, okay. I have never seen that on this app before. That's weird. <laughs> yeah, if you live in that area, make sure you know you're seeking higher ground there. <laughs> Flood warnings in Australia? I don't think I can actually pick up on the flood warnings in Australia. We need some action. What do you mean? You're in the north northeast? Is that what that means? Down to Earth, Australia. It isn't Earth. <laughs> what are you talking about? Oh, you're just messing around. I gotcha. Looks like uh, this storm has officially uh, passed. Uh, to the south of Carthage, Carthage, you guys are good for this storm. Uh, potentially, though, um, some storms... Uh, actually, that's going to be about it. It's just kind of its own little system uh, up here. Its own little cold pool, accessing some of that warmer, uh, moist air. The cape up here was actually kind of, kind of high earlier. We need some storm action. Where at? Yeah, this is going just north of Antok. And Deadwood is going to be the next in line, but it does seem like the hail core has kind of died off here for a little bit. Um, let's hope that it doesn't pick back up. Chessie, what are you doing? Where are you at? You're doing something. I can hear my dog's little tap tap of his feet. How are we looking right now? Looking all right. Any new news? Antioch. Ah, gotcha. Get some rest. Monday is going to get bad for California. Well, today's going to get bad too for California. But Monday is definitely going to be the worst. We're just going to go live for a little bit, you know. I'm probably going to do about a four-hour live stream tonight. You know, just to do some coverage if anybody needs it. I'm going to go check back in on this storm over here. It's not severe thunderstorm warned, but... I just want to make sure it's not doing anything sneaky. What's going on with this song? Well, i got to restart the music here shortly.
the <laughs> Looks like there there is so little news we are going to memes. Evan Freiberger's meme weather meme reviews. Here we are. The weather outside. You know, some clouds. The weather on your mobile app. <laughs> Asteroids crashing down to the ground. Give that one a thumbs up. That is definitely a thumbs up for me on that meme. Anything for Illinois? Well, let's go check out. Illinois. I think you guys have some snow up there. So let's uh, go switch over to the winter weather radar. And as you can see, there's actually um, a decent amount of snow heading up north here towards Springfield. Uh, it's kind of a surprise snowstorm. So if you live near Jackson, Springville, or Springfield, Taylor View, Effingham, and up to the north from there, uh, you guys do have a possibility of getting some decent snowfall. I mean, that's that's some heavy snowfall there near Whitehall and Carrollton, uh, Illinois. I thought she said Indiana there for a second. I was like, uh-oh, did I make a mistake? But we're good. Well, that is what is currently going on over in Illinois. Let's go check down here a little bit further to the south. Again, we continue to have this kind of line of training storms here. Um, uh, near the woodlands. None of them are severe, but there's definitely a lot of lightning with these and a lot of heavy rain. So you don't want to be outside during this, but you can look out your windows as of right now and check out the storm. But as soon as that severe thunderstorm warning happens, you're going to want to be going indoors and away from windows. Let's go check back up on this guy. Still chugging along, but it does seem like that hail threat is diminishing with this storm as it passes close to Deadwood. Yeah. Yeah, this one, uh, we'll keep an eye on it, but it's not as uh, worrisome as it was. Oh, by the way, I have an update for you guys. Um, let me do this really quick email gmail.com I gotta make sure it's not gonna give away any of my personal information when I look at it oh mind I can't show you guys that <laughs> but what I can show you is an Amazon Prime page that is also showing my address somehow can we not show my address please <laughs> okay this is fine okay so because of your guys's uh, generous donations uh, what stop I want to look at this picture. Finicky website. Because of your guys' general generous donations, we have been able to purchase this. So the webcam that I want is not in stock yet, so I've made the executive decision um, to purchase this Shure SM70B Vocal Dynamic Broadcasting Microphone, uh, which will bring the audio quality of my voice um through this uh uh when we stream or when i stream uh up another notch hey i appreciate it jj i appreciate it but yeah th th like when i when i when this comes in this is coming in on tuesday along with my uh along with the memory card that i was also able to purchase because of y'all's donations 
and um and so yeah we're not gonna have problems with the stream dropping out anymore and when i plug this thing in you guys aren't gonna recognize my voice i'll tell you what because this right here that i have right now this is an elgato uh xlr wave this is like a hundred dollar mic and we're going from that to this which is a 400 dollars mic and it's all because of your guys' general generous donations um so i'm super excited super excited um, and I just wanted to say thank you. You know, we're trying to do something here where we cover, you know, not just the big hype events, but also the smaller, um, not so hypey events. And, and you know, your guys' support has been keeping this channel going. And not only that, keeping it growing. Yes, put the birthday presents in the chat, or the birthday cakes in the chat as, um, As Proxima is one of the main reasons uh, why we're able to afford some of this stuff. I mean, she donates so much to the stream and allows us to to grow the production value of the stream. Mike will help. Yeah. I mean, it really doesn't help. I mean, what we're doing is really all we need to ever do. But, you know, this is kind of the aesthetics of everything. It is part of it. You got to keep people around technically in order uh, to be able to give good, you know, broadcasts. In order to reach as many people as possible, they got to stick around. Oh, here we go. So this is where the flooding was. Okay. So we do have a flash flood warning just to the north here of Columbus, Texas. Uh, and this is for Hillcrest and anybody around along Farm to Market Road 109, if you live in these areas, uh, or if you know anybody that lives in these areas, you need to be uh, finding some high ground here, especially if you live near a creek. Thank you, Patty Clark, for subscribing. I do appreciate it. Split st screen is key. I like that. What is split screen? Oh, I, I, if you're, let's see. Yeah, okay, so these are the only two. This is so weird. This flash flood warning is in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. <laughs> All right, let's go check back over to California. Check back in on the potential flooding here. That's, uh, that's our potential heavy rainfall and flooding threat. So as you can see, that rain is starting to build in here. Uh, slowly but surely. So we're gonna have to continue to watch this area. I'm gonna go check back up to Eureka. Not quite on shore yet though, down there. And we also have some of this rain here uh, just to the west of Fortuna as well. And it's starting to pick up at, like in intensity um, also. But this up here, the offshore flow is quite dramatic or it was quite dramatic yesterday. And it was keeping the storms off of, of the uh, coast. So we'll have to see if they can pull that off again today or not. Which you have now four different things oh yeah the satellite above my head chat below me yeah yeah the obs yeah yeah so we have the we have the um yeah, OBS, we have Radar Omega, uh, we have the overlay, the nameplate, all these things um, that go into uh, making the, I guess, the appearance of <laughs> somewhat of a broadcast. <laughs> all 
right, let's go see if we have any more news from sh or memes to look at. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this is this is actually how it is. So here's a meme. This is actually how it is over here in Alabama. One snowflake drops and then traffic goes nuts. <laughs> you have cars flying apparently. The this is serious though. This is not funny. Um that's not really funny. But that's funny. This is kind of funny. That's kind of funny. You get the gist. One snowflake drops in Alabama and everybody loses their mind. <laughs> I'm gonna come back over here and check on this one storm we were watching for that rotation to see if it's gone away. Yeah, it's going away. But yeah, there's definitely some rotation there. But now it's uh it's all gone pretty much for the most part. It's good news there. It looks like we might have some I wonder how far up these storms go here. Okay, so this is about the furthest extent. Possibly some rain nearby where I am, too. Wow. Looks like they did um, actually allow the severe thunderstorm here to expire. Um, so that's good news. No more severe thunderstorm warnings left. I didn't know that I was still on that screen. Sorry. <laughs> you guys are looking at the analytics while I was talking about the storm. So we don't have any more severe thunderstorm warnings anymore. Can you give us snow, please? Do you not have snow? I'm sorry. Let me uh, turn up this brightness of the light here. Seems a little dim. Yeah, not much going on right now. So I'm just gonna kind of leave this up and we're just gonna kind of monitor these storms down here near Houston. Stats for nerds, right? Not very entertaining. <laughs> oh, that's the worst. I think there's actually quite a significant lag on my stream in terms of like when I see the messages and then when you guys see it. I don't think I can change it. Let's see here. No, it's ultra low latency. For some reason though, it does seem like it's it's more latent than usual. Yeah, skiing in those conditions are not fun. Hello Dylan, welcome. Welcome to the stream. We are currently uh, watching these storms. You know, this is a little bit oversaturated here. Let me also try to fix this. Filters. Let's bring the saturation down just a wee bit. That should be better. But yeah, we're just we're we're monitoring all these different things. We got a, a little bit of snow happening over in Illinois and in Indiana. Uh, we got a little bit of storms down here near Houston. Some of them might go severe. Um, and then we also have some rain approaching the west coast of California. So we're monitoring a lot tonight. So when Texas had the tornado outbreak roll through, I made sure my cousin was aware that violent tornadoes were possible and that she needed to be ready to take cover. That's good, Dylan. 
That is really good. This is the Carolinas. No, we are looking at uh, Texas right now. Uh, we have a marginal threat here for severe weather in Texas, uh, which you've already seen one severe storm. So that's already pretty much confirmed there. And, you know, we do have some pretty hefty storms um, up in Louisiana and Mississippi. Uh, so we're just kind of hanging out here as there's no severe thunderstorm warnings and over here uh, At least uh oh looks like we have a new flooding report here near Eureka It's like from Holmes flat road to Barkdale road closings due to flooding. So let's see if we can zoom in here There's Holmdale road Anyways, if you live near Homedale Flat Road to Barkdale Road in California, uh, there is some road closings. There's a new report there. But yeah, as you can see, there's a lot of rain coming in to California here. It's just not there yet. But uh, we picked this 8 p.m. time for the, or for the rain here because what we do have, the biggest risk for today and the most deadliest risk across the nation is, I'll show you. Uh, we go over to here, then here. You can see that we have a moderate risk here for Ukiah and Santa Rosa, uh, California. And that's going to really start to pick up here uh, as this rain builds in here, which is what we're seeing. Uh, so if you live in Novato, uh, Fairfield, Petaluma, Santa Rosa, Clear Lake, Ukiah, and Wilt, Willett, Fort Bragg, and uh, Mendocino, uh, you guys need to be... Uh, at least have a plan at least have a plan to um, to reach higher ground thank you Anzar Kabir for subscribing I appreciate it you're in Spartan North Carolina in the mountains all right there is a winter weather advisory there your son's name's Evan all right cool there is a winter weather advisory for some reason here. Two eight is that your zip code? Two eight six seven five. Sparta. Let's check it out. You live in the mountains. I think there is a chance for snow over here. I think it's like one of those. I'm not seeing. Let me try to put this in motion. See if we see anything. Hmm. Are you sure? You might be trolling, but we'll check it out. Winter, winter weather advisor. Oh, no, you're not trolling. Oh, yeah, so there is a chance here. So let's go check on the details. Uh, do that north. Where's Sparta? North Sparta. What happened? Okay, we're just going to do, we're just going to copy and pasta your stuff again there we go so yeah you're in a winter weather advisory portions of north central and northwest north carolina southwest west virginia and southwest yeah so this is going to be from uh, 5 a.m to 7 p.m on sunday so that's not necessarily uh for tonight but it is there so I do remember, I thought you meant for tonight, but I do remember in the forecast that there's like this, it's like a, it's like one of those things, so there's a lot of rain, right, that's gonna be entering into this area as this uh, moisture moves off to the north and east. And there's also some colder air coming around here, um, but the exact areas where the snow will fall here is not, is not gonna be set in stone until it happens. But yes, there is a chance, no problem. Evan, can you make the snow, like, go to me, please? I wish I could. I wish I could. Let's look, we got another flood warning here down at Houston. Um, back here near Moulton. So near Moulton, we now have a flash flood warning. Uh, let's go over. Let's take off this uh, flood thing. There we go. Okay, so we have a flood a flash flood warning here for Molten, Moravia, uh, Breslau, Breslau, 
Kinkler and Hackberry, uh, Texas. That's just north, or that's just to the west of Houston. Uh, definitely a lot of rain falling here. So if you live in these areas, just north of Columbus or in the areas I just named, uh, you guys need to have a plan to seek higher ground, especially if you live near a creek. And I am subscribed, okay? I appreciate it, bro. Yeah, no problem. Absolutely no problem. That's what I'm here for. All right, so we're just going to kind of leave this on here. Let's do a poll. Let's do a poll. Uh, oh, we still have a poll up. Well, let's end this poll then. <laughs> So it looks like sweatpants won the poll, jeans, which I, that's what I was expecting. You know, it is winter time. Jeans just aren't comfortable and sweatpants, they're nice, right? You put on the sweatpants, you relax, and you're nice and warm and comfy. Well, that was about what I was expecting. All right, so we're going to do another poll. Do you like thunder more or snow more? Can't You can have both at the same time, but... Also, if anybody has any suggestions for polls, uh, feel free to put it in chat. And all right, looks like we might have a maybe some more memes. No. It's like birding peep has. Uh Oh, looks like things are getting slow. Might be going too fast here. Tweeted Jim Cantori about tornado and hurricane season uh, coming to an end, and he said nothing official. That was probably a while back, right? All right, so we're going to go over to news. Burning Peep has posted yet another interesting look uh, over here. The Catalina Islands in California live cam. Again, this is Burning Peep. She is the queen of webcams. She goes around on the maps and finds cool little videos and stuff or cool little webcams in which she uh, takes clips of and posts them online giving you a look at all of the cool things that are happening across the nation let's play this really quick oh wow everybody i want you to go over to this post Oh, we're, birdings uh, link is in the chat. I want y'all to go under this post and we're all just gonna post the same thing Show that that you went over here also like and retweet it um, And post Wow underneath this you can put exclamation marks. It doesn't have to be the same Wow, but I mean look at this Gorgeous sunset what a good catch. This is why I follow birding peep um, Because I mean look at that amazing wow it like just that split second when that sunlight really makes it in there absolutely beautiful what we got going on here oh we got the winter weather alert still on let me uh, take that off in the background here let me refresh this and see if anybody else said wow oh come on you guys are no fun her links in the in the in the chat. Come over here, say wow, like and retweet, and then follow. Birding peep, queen of webcams. Do I do severe weather? I do. I so I do national weather. And you know, it's not like oh, I do national weather just for like the hype events. No, I just do national weather. I go live as much as physically possible that my body will let me. Um, which is quite a bit actually and we just cover all of the all of the weather if there's a if there is a decent threat um for really anything um let me uh where is it winter weather advisory there we go like today is just the marginal risk down here although we do have significant impacts expected just north of san francisco um as these storms and rain start to move in we don't have the best radar look on these but We'll be able to piece it together by going back and forth. But uh, the rain hasn't started to impact yet. 
We still have this rain coming in to Eureka. Almost there. Um, and we still have this rain coming in, but it hasn't started going there. But yeah, we cover, you know, pretty much, um, you know, we try to cover as much as we can. But I am only one person, so sometimes you just said wow. Let me go check. Where's our tweet? Oh, there we go. Oh, wait, <laughs> I like the wrong one. <laughs> Oh, I like yours too. Okay. We have a new severe thunderstorm warning here. Uh, just north of Houston. Uh, going towards uh, West Livington, West Tempe, Onlaska, Livingston, and New Willard, and then Coliet, Coli, Colita. Uh, this thunderstorm is worn for one inch hail and 60 mile per hour wind so if you're in the path of this storm it's quite it's relatively easy just go indoors and away from windows good job guys <laughs> proxima you're a trooper you guys all we all squatted up and went over there and showed some love to buried people volcano or earthquake is that your poll request? Hurricane or tornado? Volcano? Yeah, see, you'd have to have experienced both of those in order to pick um, which one you would choose. I think most people have experienced thunder and snow. We actually want people to vote on the poll. <laughs> I'm not under the same name on Twitter as I am on here. Oh, okay. Understandable. Hydrate. Oh. Right. Yes. Uh, pink and going into black. That indicates uh, one inch hail. And so the, the, the most significant rain on this storm is right here. Um, and hail. And that is heading off towards this direction, about to, probably going to cross over I-90 here uh, within the next five, ten minutes. Does a massive hail core count as snow? Depends. Depends. If it hits somewhere near you and then a little tiny flake flakes off of the hail and then lands on you, is that technically snow or is that hail still? I don't know. I think that's a question that meteorology hasn't answered yet. Which are more beautiful, sun sets or sun rises or clouds? No, we're going to do, I think I like that idea because it can confuse people. So that's what we're going to do. What's more beautiful? Sunsets? Or sun rises. But it... sun set sun rise. What is more oh. what is more beautiful sunsets or sun rises? Okay. There we go. Right? It is confusing. And it's a hard question to answer because it's like, I, mean, I think sunsets, if I were to guess, I think sunsets are gonna win. Looks like that hail core is intensifying a little bit here. Uh, it looks like it's going over Lake Livingston right now, but West Tempe, you guys need to be indoors and away from windows as you guys do appear to be uh, directly in the path of this hail core. But the hail core will probably shift around a little bit before it gets there, so hopefully it, it'll either go north or south of you, but just be indoors and away from windows and it'll be all right. <laughs> Ha, <laughs> ha,
Well, it's nice that I can finally break your brain for once. <laughs> no, Karen, it is not that. Um, let me see. Well, let's see where it is. Echo tops. Uh, they're actually pretty high. Uh, 46,000... Uh, 46,000 feet. Chazzy, what are you doing? Just now tuning in, we are watching a severe thunderstorm warning just to the north and east of Houston. Houston, Texas. See I, the photo I sent of the sunset. Um, yes, I actually did see that. It was beautiful as well. There is something about a sunrise I do appreciate sunsets more often, yeah. It's harder, it's easier to be awake for a sunset than it is for a sunrise. Also, just like Paul Goodlow of the Weather Channel said, you can be under severe thunderstorm warning and still have a tornado too. Um, yeah. That is technically possible, but not with these. Hello from NorCal, we are getting pummeled, yes. Yeah, we're covering there as well. We're just, the rain is, uh, the rain, ha like, it's taking a break there for a little bit, so. Uh, we've come over to Texas to look at some of these severe thunderstorm warnings. Proxima with another $50 donation. Wow. Thank you. She says, I love the philosophy behind sunrises, the idea that every morning is is possibly of do-over possibly a do-over well yeah sorry the idea that every morning is uh, has a possibility of a do-over no matter how bad yesterday was every dawn is an opportunity to be and do better yes but what if you wake up at 12 <laughs> what if you wake up at 12 p.m hello shelly Thank you for subscribing. Ivy Agnes Nue 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 Nue. Uh, I had a friend with this last name, and I always struggled with it. Nue. Nu it's like Nuyen Nu Nueyen. Uh, you're gonna have to remind me in the chat. Somebody's got another news update. Let me check that out. So we got a... Oh my. We got a, an update here. Sonoma County Fire District. Is this in California, I think? Yeah, this is SoCo. Let me uh, check this. Oh, hey, this is in California, okay. This is in Sonoma County, California. Uh, looks like uh, either a tree or a palm tree or what kind of looks like massive bamboo. Hard to tell. Um, fell on the road here and actually hit this car here. Um, but they are saying they're, the river road as a 7.10 p.m. Uh, is now was officially open again. That's good news. It's whenever you gain consciousness. That that works. We in. Okay. 11 a.m. here. Okay. Yeah, I like that. A little do-over whenever you gain conscious. Do-over and then a start-over. Or looking forward to doing it again at the sunset. 
But yeah, that's the latest news there in Sonoma County. Hopefully these people are all right. We're in that little green truck there. Looks like the hail over here near West Tempe, uh, Texas, uh, is taking a brief break here for a little bit, which is good. Hopefully um, it's not as severe as it goes over West Tempe. Let's pause this really quick. Let's go check on the snow up here in Illinois and Missouri. Mm -hmm. Looks like uh, might have briefly transitioned into rain here just south of Jacksonville and Springville, but we still have some decent snow near Hannibal and Macon, Missouri. Probably, probably eucalyptus. Oh. Eucalyptus stinks. I don't like the smell of eucalyptus. We're going to check back over in California here. The rain is starting to approach. I have a little spot here that's about to make landfall here near Santa Cruz. Let's go look at the velocities on these. Some decent velocities on these storms as well. It seems like the wind is starting to pick up. Um, still no reports yet of any trees down. Uh, or I guess we do have a report of a tree down. We just looked at one. But no new reports. Yeah, wind is picking up. We are starting to see that rain start to move in here into California. We're, and I'm expecting uh, these storms to be uh, to be dropping uh, uh, probably some more rain than they currently are. Um, as they continue to make their way uh, towards the coast here. Let's go check up near uh, northwestern California. We still have this rain offshore uh, still making its way to North Eureka there, or north of Eureka. Doesn't look like it's going to scrape the coast again, though. That's the latest update there in California. Still waiting on the rain to get there. So we have a damage report. Oh my. Look at this. So where that uh, severe thunderstorm went through. Says multiple trees down on FM 840 near the County Road 355 intersection. So tr multiple trees down. Not just one, but multiple. When I had... Oh, let's see here. Probably I dropped over part. Let the butterflies need it. They do need it. It stinks, but I mean... I you know, just because it stinks, does that mean we should get rid of all eucalyptus trees? No, I'll just move away from them as far as away as I can get. <laughs> when I had dreams as a kid at night and couldn't get back to sleep, once the first light of the day came, I could finally sleep, relax, and sleep again. Hmm. Oh, bad dreams. Okay. Interesting. The red and green area is usually signs in rotation of storms like that. Yeah, but on the uh, on the reflect on on the velocities here. So we have another storm popping up here just to the north of Montgomery that has a decent amount of lightning is also potentially dropping upwards to quarter sized tail there, uh, going uh, just to the north of Farm to Market Road. Uh, to really just in between San Jacinto and Bath, Texas. Actually, starting to head towards Huntsville, Texas. I have a feeling that we're about to have somebody show up in the chat. Maybe they're already lurking. Yeah, these storms are starting to get, uh, we might get multiple severe thunderstorm warnings with this. I like the hail with this storm going towards West Tempe is almost, um, it, or it's not dissipated, but it's definitely like, it's not really quarter sized anymore. We'll keep watching this one. Actually, we'll zoom out a little bit more so we can monitor both of these storms. The ground is saturated there that the roots have nothing to hold. Yeah, the ground's very saturated in California. 
so there's like there's like two two sides of the coin there so um uh, you know when you're in california and the grounds are really dry um you know rain doesn't absorb very easily into there so if you get a big rainfall then you know you um you end up uh with flooding faster uh so then there's a nice little middle ground there where you know you kind of have regular chances of flooding um but when the grounds are really saturated it's kind of the opposite end of the spectrum but still worsens the situation because the grounds are super saturated and there's actually too much water in the ground for the ground to absorb and so it kind of does the same thing um and uh, you know it starts to pull a lot easier Yeah, there's no rotation with these storms uh, right now. Yeah, no rotation. It's a lot of uh, rain, wind, and hail, and lightning with these. Still dangerous storms, though. You don't want to be outside during these. Special marine warning. Where is that? For California. Wow, check this out. So over here in California, we have a special marine warning for wind greater than 50 knots just off the coast there. Looks like north of, uh, of San Francisco, in between San Francisco. Well, it looks like it might be going towards South Eureka. We'll have to go look at that on the radar here shortly. But also um, pea-sized hail and possible water spout. I'm interested now. It's got my attention. Let's go check it out. So that would be, hmm, will we even be able to see it is the question. I'll pull up uh, the special marine warning weather alerts. Oh wow, so it's this one. We got to look at it. Oh, we kind of do. All right. So this is that possible water spout and hail. Uh, maybe some rotation in this area. It's really far away from the radar. So we're going to have trouble. Um, we're going to have trouble figuring out what exactly the storm is doing. Uh, but interesting. It looks like we, I wonder how they got that report. Let's see if they give any more information here. refresh the music stay went by so fast yeah it kind of did i agree with you it was cloudy over here um uh, easily turn overturn boat so there's no reports like other than they think that a water spout uh, there's a thunderstorm moving northeast at 90 knots jeez that's actually really fast uh, but yeah, we we will uh, we'll monitor this one. Some of the METAR data for this area up here, just to make sure we're not getting any crazy fast winds. Would want to know if they were happening. Yeah, we're still good. Uh, the latest report is 30 mile per. Hour. Oh, well, technically not really. I mean, 53 mile per hour wind gust. That's nothing to scoff at. 38 mile per hour wind gust there south of Fortuna. Let me see here if we can, uh, if there's like a wind gust. Okay, there's not a wind gust. That's the latest update there. So we'll keep an eye on it. And then down here, near San Francisco. Actually, let's check these other radars, see if they can pick up this storm. No. But thank you, Shiori, for that uh, report. Looks like that heavier rain is starting to move into Santa Cruz uh, right now. Um, going in between Santa Cruz and Bonnie Dune, and then heading straight towards Scotts Valley, and then eventually San Jose, if it can last past these little mountain ranges here. 
Yeah, I know I know from you that a lot of you guys that if you live in an area where severe weather happens a lot, you're looking at this and you're like, why does why does California care about this little bit of rain? Well, the ground's already very saturated out here and even this amount of rain right here can cause significant problems. Well, not significant, but it, not this amount of rain, but you know, the amount of rain that we're going to get with these storms uh, can cause significant problems. And they're going to kind of look like that. It's just going to add up over time and potentially cause some uh, flooding. Yeah, 90 knots is very fast. But I think the winds that it's actually producing, it was uh, 50 knots is what they said. Oh, yeah. By the way, uh, liking the stream helps us reach more people. It's really easy to do. Just hit the little thumbs up button if you are enjoying the stream. Uh, it's a good way, uh, one, to show your appreciation and another way to help share the stream to more people. The algorithm uh, favors streams with more likes. I didn't choose it to happen. That's just how YouTube is. Uh, so we somewhat have to play the game. Uh, so if you like the stream, I would really appreciate that. And also uh, consider subscribing as we do do this coverage, not just for the the boring days, you could say. Although in my mind, it's not too boring. Uh, but I can see how someone like in the general audience could think that this is boring. Um, but we also do severe weather coverage when it's, um, you know, dangerous day as well. I mean, it's dangerous up here, but it's just a, a rain and flood threat. Not a tornado threat, but this could be equally, if not more deadly um, than a tornado threat. Because you can get a big flood and it could kill like 100 people pretty easily. So that's why we're live. We just want to make sure if it does happen, the people in this area can get um, the alerts and the news that they need and, you know, radar coverage. Non-weather update on Damar Hamlin. Putting love in the world comes back three times as much. Thank you, everyone, who has reached out and prayed. Road to recover. Oh, okay. Sounds like he's doing well. That's good. Hello, Devin. Welcome back. You're almost at 2K? Yeah, we're getting close. We are getting slowly, we're getting close slowly, but surely. Oh, wow, 1.93K. Only 70 more subscribers to 2K. That's crazy. We've gone from 100 subscribers to almost 2,000 in like four months. Let's see what's going on here. Still have the severe thunderstorm warning over here. Let's get our latest update here. Uh, looks like the hail has moved through West Tempe. It's now heading towards Bold Springs. Uh, Shiori, this is a perfect time to type in hail into Twitter and see if we can find any reports of that hail. And uh, good luck, because typing hail in the search bar in Twitter does not bring up the results that you would technically be expecting. <laughs> Put a countdown on the stream. I don't know how to do that. How do you do that? How do you like how how do you get the little graph? No, like sharing the stream and liking the stream, although it, it does help the channel out, that's mainly uh, for getting this important weather information out to people. Subscribing helps me out pretty directly. Donating helps me out. That's the most direct way to help me out. Helps me pay my bills, helps us reinvest back into making this eventually one of the best weather streams out there. That is our goal. 
for revolutionizing the the weather industry uh slowly but surely put your subs i i don't know how to do that gaming <laughs> i know there's like a thing you can do with the graphic um what's his face max and ryan hall did it i don't know how to do it so <laughs> but yeah we actually have some really intense hail happening here just uh to the north and west of bath this is one of the more intense hail signals we've seen um and it's heading either just south or close to uh, huntsville texas here uh so if you know anybody that lives in huntsville texas uh make sure you let them know that there could potentially be some hail it's a great time to go indoors and away from windows it does look like we're starting to get some really weak areas um of ro whoa is that hail i'm assuming that's hail causing that signal well we do have a we do have a little supercell down here it is also rotating um, it's got some decent rotation. Let me put this back here just to make sure. Yeah, I mean, it's got some, it's got some rotation. I'm not gonna lie. It does have some rotation. It's not the strongest rotation I've ever seen. Um, but it does have an inflow. It's got some rotation. That is a supercell. Uh, looks like to be heading directly towards, uh, Cyprus, Texas. We'll see if they'll severe thunderstorm warn. I mean, we've got a lot of lightning with this storm as well, which typically indicates that it is um, in getting stronger uh, there. So we'll see if this gets severe thunderstorm warn. I, I mean, this is... They should severe thunderstorm warn this storm, though, soon. <laughs> that's a lot. That That's that's definitely quarter-sized hail dropping out of that storm. Yeah, thanks, Rita Zamperi, for subscribing. I do appreciate it. Uh, yeah. Tornado possible? No. I really don't think we have... So the risk for today is a marginal, and according to the SPC, there's a 0% risk uh, for tornadoes. This is the second, though, supercell that we've seen today with some rotation on it. This one is has some surprisingly... Let's check this radar though, just to make sure. This one's a little bit closer. See if this one shows. I mean, yeah, look at that. There's rotation with it. You can even see it kind of spin. This is a more high depth uh, radar here. There's definitely some rotation with that storm. Is it enough to cause a tornado warning? That doesn't quite pass that threshold with me um, just yet, but we'll keep an eye on it. We'll kind of zoom out. Okay, it looks like they did let this severe thunderstorm warning over here near on Alaska to expire. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. It's possible. Just because there's a 0% doesn't mean it's completely impossible. I don't think there's ever, you know, truly, you know, especially when you have this much convection, a 0% chance. Uh, but we'll keep monitoring it. I, I'm, I'm assuming it's going to fall apart. But, I mean, some of the models did indicate some, you know, some very marginal uh, support for supercells at the very least. I mean, that's rotating. right there i mean that's it's a little bit broad right yeah but but i mean it's definitely rotating here near cyprus uh it's definitely got that super cellular shape with an inflow as well Yeah, we'll see. I mean, it's associated with the boundary here. I mean, it should go outflow dominant pretty quickly. Man, that's crazy. 
Well, so we got a new mezzo update. Let me check it here. Ah, they always do that. Marginally severe hail and gusty winds possible. So they're not saying anything about a uh, tornado risk still. So this should probably this will probably go outflow dominant most likely. Oh, they did severe one thunder. Oh, with a tornado possible tag on it. Look at that. Wow. Tornado possible severe thunderstorm warning on a zero percent tornado day. How how rare? That's so interesting. But yeah, so we do have a tornado possible. Uh, severe thunderstorm warning here heading towards villages of Cypress Lake, Cypress, Coles Crossing, uh, Champion Forest at Suma, Jersey Village. Again, we are just, oh wow, this is heading directly towards Houston as well. If you know anybody in the Houston area, make sure you share this stream uh, to them. As we do have a severe thunderstorm warning with the tornado possible, what that means is that a tornado can happen um, at any time. Or, uh, wait, no, that doesn't, uh, that's not what it means. <laughs> a tornado can be produced from this thunderstorm here. Imagine Houston getting a tornado on a zero uh, percent tornado day. That would be nuts. You know, honestly, I was expecting like one or two severe thunderstorm warnings out of this storm. Um, definitely not a tornado possible tag. Let's go back over. Let's switch over now. Let's we're gonna switch over to dual pane here, just so we can see the reflectivity and the velocities at the same time. So if you care about the reflectivity, you can look on the left side. Um, but I care about the velocities over here because that lets me know if there's something going on in terms of a tornado. I mean, we definitely got rotation there. I'm going to check to see if we have a correlation coefficient drop. We don't. Not seeing any debris being lofted, so no surprises there. Well, we'll continue to wait here for the next uh, radar update, though. Yeah, I mean... If you know anybody in Houston, share this stream. You know, if you're associated with any, you know, Facebook groups or anything, or just share it on your social media if you live around the Houston area. No, no point of getting anybody else ginned up about this storm, you know, if they're not near Houston. Man, that thing is, it's definitely got some rotation. Yeah, as of right now, uh, just uh, Cypress Lake, Cypress, Coles Crossing, Champion Forest, Satsuma, and Jersey Village, Texas, uh, just north and to the west of Houston. All you guys need to be is indoors and away from windows as of right now. Um, but be prepared to go to your safe spots as this storm is definitely rotating. It's broad right now. Um, but there's a tornado possible tag on here. So just be prepared to go into your safe spot if it gets uh, tornado warned, especially if you live here in Cypress. Don't gotta go there yet, but be prepared. It's a tornado warning now? No way. Oh my gosh. Yep, it's a tornado. We got a tornado warning. That doesn't mean we have a tornado, but it does mean that this thing has rotated enough to where uh, they think that we're gonna have, potentially, a, uh, a tornado. And it is heading directly uh, towards Houston. Well, I'm gonna change. I'm gonna change my title here, just for a little bit. Control C. I'm gonna transfer this over to here, and I'm going to change this to for. Uh, well, no. Tornado warning in Texas. Okay. All right. Good to go. All right. So still waiting on the next uh, uh, next velocity update, uh, but it, oh, we got it, that new mesoscale discussion coming over here. 
that's crazy i always thought looking at this event that it had like a small tornado potential but i never said it publicly but let me take off this meso scale discussion because it's getting in the way all right hopefully you guys listened to me before we've got a tornado worn storm here so cyprus you need villages of cyprus lakes you guys need to be in your safe spots right now so that's suma uh cole's crossing all of you guys need to be in your safe spots. We have a rotating storm here. It's not the uh, tightest rotation I've ever seen, but it's definitely still rotation. Um, a tornado could be uh, happening right now or at any time here. Let's go check the correlation coefficient, but that doesn't really matter. You don't want to get caught outside of your safe spot uh, just in case a tornado does drop in between frames. Uh, the these radar frames they update about once every five minutes uh so um you know <laughs> if, if, if a tornado drops in between the frames you're not going to know about it i'm not going to know about it. i'm not going to be able to tell anything or tell you if it drops in between the frame because it only updates once every five minutes so the best thing to do is to just go into your safe spot and be safe right what is a safe spot a safe spot is the lowest most interior uh flo a uh, lowest floor with the most interior room of your house with as many walls in between you and the outdoors as humanly possible a basement or a storm shelter no this is definitely not the first tornado of 2023 put this in motion we've already had a tornado outbreak in january People are going to be so confused looking at my title and thumbnail. They're going to be like, okay, so that's California, but his title says live tornado outbreak. I mean, tornado warning. That's funny. All right. Let's go see if we have the latest correlation coefficient yet. Not yet. We're still waiting on the latest scan there, I think. Still not seeing anything on the ground. So we're just kind of monitoring this. Yeah, that rotation is getting a little bit more broad here. Does kind of seem to be falling apart. Let's hope it stays like that. I'll, oh yeah, also uh, helmets. Heaven went live. Yeah. No, don't post that in my chat. Come on, man. You know better than that. What is going on with my chat? Why is that getting cut off? How do you think Max would feel if you know you went? How do you think Max would feel if you went into his, um, into his? Uh, stream and was like Evans live. <laughs> and then people leave his stream and come over to here, or people leave my stream to go over to his. Like that's just not cool. Don't do that. That's cross promotion. Yeah, go go over to Max's stream and do that. See what happens. He'll probably ban you. You're lucky. I, I like you. Um. So yeah, don't do that. <laughs> but yeah, we still have a tornado warning ongoing here in Texas, uh, near Houston. Still some pretty tight rotation. Uh, not tight, but pretty strong rotation here. Not tight. Um, but I still want everybody in Cyprus. If you're just now tuning in, I want everybody in Village of Cyprus Lakes, Cyprus Satsuma, uh, and near Champion Forest to be in your safe spots. We will continue to monitor. Oh, shoot. Sorry. Meant to click another button. Didn't mean to click out of the radar. It'll be up here in just a second. Sorry about that. Okay, we're back. But yeah. That is that is the situation right now. Right now we gotta wait for the next um the next radar update. Mm -hmm. 
if it does drop a tornado it'll yeah that's more well, we're hoping it just doesn't drop a tornado so we have another severe thunderstorm warning we're gonna check this one out for huntsville um is this the closest radar we got i guess so so we're in completely in a radar hole here uh, but we have another uh, severe thunderstorm warning over here near huntsville some one inch hail possible for huntsville texas so you guys need to be indoors and away from windows uh, this has got a decent amount of lightning and a decent amount of hail going back over to this tornado warning still some decent rotation that hasn't really gone away yet so We'll keep watching it. Yeah, I, I know. I know Max is a weather YouTuber. It's just, it, it's like, it's like, how do I put it? Like, let's say you are a brand new storm chaser and you know you get like 20 people in there and then somebody comes in and posts oh read timmers live and then all of your viewers go over to read timmers page it's not nice so just don't do it but again if you're just now tuning in we're looking at a tornado warning here uh just north and east of houston texas um as you can see uh, there is a decent amount of rotation with this storm. It's not particularly tight uh, When we go over to the correlation coefficient I'm not seeing any debris ball right now But I still want everybody that is under this tornado warning to be in their safe spots And we're just kind of sitting here waiting on the next radar scan It should come in here relatively shortly and we'll have another indication of if the rotation is getting stronger or weaker Another storm with broad near in Yorktown, Texas. All right. Yorktown, Texas. I'm going to check that out real quick. Oh, boy. I'm um, here near San Antonio. Oh, yeah. Another storm here with broad and weak rotation. That's kind of how this one started off. So looks like we, we're getting a couple, a couple of uh, rotating storms. Hello, Cassandra. Welcome. Have any cams in Houston? <laughs> we have a surprise tornado warning. Today, you know, the interesting part about today, we've already went over this earlier, but we, we've gotten a few extra viewers here. Uh, the interesting part about today is that it's a 0% tornado risk. But obviously... Uh, we have a tornado warned storm. <laughs> ah, wow. Yeah, we're starting to get a, we're starting to see. So we just got the newest. Uh, we just got the newest uh, velocity scan. This helps us understand where and how big the or uh, how much the rotation is. And as you can see, uh, we are starting to see a little bit of the increase of the returns there, but. We're starting to see all these grays in the middle, which means that the rotation is still quite broad. And going over to the correlation coefficient, I'm still not seeing any debris being lofted yet with this storm. So that's good news there. Uh, but I still want everybody in their safe spot as this can uh, drop a tornado at any time. They sent me a message. Shoot. Hey, Shiori, I'm about to send you a weird message. Is this my title? Uh, so I can change it when this tornado warning expires. Okay, so we do have a live cam in Houston, Texas. Uh, thanks to Birding Peep. Let's go over here. Oops, accidentally didn't mean to do that. Okay, so that's the live view. So here is that uh, live cam view in Houston, Texas. Let me make sure this is sized correctly. Wow. Lots of lightning happening. Let me fix the chat here. Hmm. 
Where's that? Where's the window cam? Oh, there it is. Okay. I guess this doesn't really I just want to make sure it's centered somewhat but why isn't that working you can tell where the storm is <laughs> so we do have uh, this tornado worn storm on cam here you can see the lightning happening in the background that is that tornado worn storm this is a cam as you can tell from the top left of the screen um, in Houston pointing directly at this um, at this storm and the only reason that we even know about this is birding peep her link is in the chat uh, so make sure you go over to her page give her a follow um, to show your appreciation because we wouldn't have this view right now on stream if it wasn't for birding peep but yeah this is the tornado worn storm as it approaches Houston we'll come back to it in just a second but I just want to make sure we're also keeping track here of the radar the radar hasn't updated yet so we're gonna go back over here and look at the, the storm oh wow did you see that lightning happen behind that building that's crazy this is nuts I swear every time birding peep sends me a message um, on uh, on Twitter the next thing I always say <laughs> is this is nuts <laughs> Because it's always nuts. We always get amazing views on the webcams as Birding Keep Peep is always keeping her eye in the storm as well. I'm not the only one. Um, I'm not the only one that watches these storms like a hawk. Wow. This is crazy. It's nonstop lightning. Do you think this one is going to drop a tornado? I don't know. It could. I mean, it's, it's a very, very low chance that it does, but it's already rotating. Uh, so we'll have to see. I mean, we're going to continue to watch it. Let me check to see if we've got a new radar scan. Okay, so we do have a new radar scan. And we have, oh, we have a bunch more severe thunderstorm warnings too to go over. So we're going to do that next after looking at this radar scan. Uh, still rotating. It's still broad rotation. Um, and then coming over to uh, the co correlation coefficient, still not seeing a debris ball, which is really good news as this is headed uh, directly towards Houston. Um, but yeah, um, if you know, if you're in the path of the storm in Cypress, Satsuma, still need to be in your safe spots as, as this storm, you know, it can, it's still rotating and it can still tighten up here. So let's go check out these other uh, severe thunderstorm warnings really quick. So it looks like that severe thunderstorm just went over Huntsville. Hopefully you guys were indoors and away from windows as there was some hail there. Like I asked you to be. Um, let's go over here towards Shreveport. Here's our other severe thunderstorm warning. Wow, this one's kind of got a kind of got a supercellular shape to it as well. Uh, kind of too close to the radar site to really tell too much about it. Uh, but it has inch hail, 60 mile per hour winds. If you live in hail or Hall Summit, Martin, uh, Kushata, uh, Martin and Ashland, you guys need to be indoors and away from windows there. Um, zooming out, where are those other ones? Oh, and we also have a severe thunderstorm warning just to the south of south and east of San Antonio, uh, where we are seeing what appears to be some rotation, but it could also be some hail. Um, so I'm gonna stay cautious on this one before. Um, sounding any alarms I mean as you can see that next scan completely disappeared uh, so that was probably just hail wrapping around the mezzo one inch hail and 60 mile per hour winds there um, and if you live in Garfield New Davie and Old Davie uh, you need to be in your safe spots all right let's go back over to here still don't have a new update so we're gonna go back over to our cam you ever storm chase yes Whenever I can. Yes, wherever Pete flies, we're there. Again, if you're just now tuning in, we are looking at a tornado worn storm here uh, just in Houston using a webcam provided to us by Birding Peep. 
She finds the webcams, and then we put them on the stream. And she also makes clips and posts it on her Twitter. Um, so if you're interested in seeing those clips, she's posted a lot of, uh, of cool things, or, or, or very interesting views, and an awesome sunset um, in California. Her link is going to be in chat here. Just click on there, go over there, check out some of her posts. Again, show your appreciation. We wouldn't have this view here if it wasn't for her. I mean, you can actually see uh, some of the cloud tops on this tornado-worn storm. As that lightning flashes, you can get little brief views into the cloud tops and what's going on there. Tornado warning has been extended. Okay. Yeah, yeah, no, I mean, it's definitely rotating and that's what happens. You know, you kind of get those striations and sometimes in the upper or middle or lower atmosphere. Um, and it, yeah, it does some every now and then. Uh, Karen's right. It does kind of look UFO-ish up there. I'm going to go back over to here. We're going to check on... Okay, we still don't have a new scan, so we'll stay over here. You have Twitter too, right? Yeah, let me put that in there as well. Here's my Twitter. You can go over there. Follow me if you want. Whoa, did you see that? Wow. That was some crazy lightning. Is this overperforming? Uh, absolutely. This is supposed to be a 0% risk, and we have a tornado warning. Uh, still don't have a new scan yet, but if you're just tuning in, we have a tornado warning for uh, just outside of Houston, and then we just got a cam here looking out at this tornado warn storm. It's crazy. It's crazy what we sometimes see on this stream. <laughs> I mean, we saw, like, I think it was the last uh, tornado outbreak. We saw uh, two tornadoes and an amazing uh sun beneath the cloud shot um and, and then plus one funnel all with one cam it was nuts and that cam was also provided by birding p yes yeah if you guys want to help out you know i'm here helping you guys you know keep safe during this storm and power flash. Oh yeah, we also saw power flashes on the stream too. Uh, last stream, our last uh, severe weather stream. Yeah, if you want to help out, make sure that you, um, Chazzy, no, stop. Make sure you share the stream um, with people in this area. If you know anybody that lives in this area um, or, or like the stream, Right now is the perfect time to like the stream, push us in the algorithm so we can meet, reach as many people as possible with this life-saving uh, information. Yeah, it is. All right, let's go check to see if we have a new scan. Okay, we do have a new scan. As you can see, uh, that rotation is still there. It's not as strong as it was, uh, but it's still there. It could still wrap up here at any time, so I still want you guys to be in your safe spots there in Village of Cypress Lake, Cypress Satsuma still in your safe spots that's the latest update there still a tornado warning ongoing again if you're just tuning in this is a tornado warning just to the north and west of houston heading towards houston as we speak it's probably already in houston like the outskirts like is this considered houston is anybody familiar where the line of houston starts and also i'm still not seeing um still not seeing any uh debris on the ground but as you can but these little lightning looking things that is the lightning that is currently happening uh with this storm looks like the radar has frozen here for a second hold on what's going on uh hold on we're gonna have to switch over to the models 
then switch back over to the radar. Uh-oh. Hold on. I'm going to restart my radar program. I don't know why it's glitchy all of a sudden. There we go. Back up in action. But yeah, as I was saying, you could tell that there's a lot of lightning happening with this storm. And then switching over to here, this is the tornado worn storm. And so not only are we seeing it on radar, uh, it is downtown Houston. So Libertarian, we this is a tornado worn storm entering into Houston right now. And this is a cam in Houston looking at the tornado worn storm. Horror is coming. Yeah, it's pretty much non-stop lightning with this storm, which is dangerous in itself. Yeah, no problem. All right, let's go check back. Okay, still no is that is that a radar yeah that's still that's a radar update it does appear like this storm is starting to become outflow dominant a little bit um but there is still some rotation back in this little uh meso cyclone here <laughs> news all right let me check to see if we have some news here Oh my gosh. Um, yeah, I don't think that's actually grape sized hail. I think they just put the hail like that. But we do have a report from hail here from Hop King of uh, grape sized hail and an immediate pressure, uh, immediate temperature drop there in Huntsville. Oh, grape sized hail. I thought it said grapefruit. Yeah, grape sized hail. Yeah, grape sized hail. Um, that is our latest report out of Huntsville, Texas. Everybody say thanks to Shiori uh, for finding um, for finding that uh, that news so that we could report it. Yeah, it's Huntsville, Texas. And we also ha now have a video. Um, sorry, I forgot to give this person credit. So this is Hop King. Hop King got this uh, picture. So make sure that you are, uh, yeah. Thank you, Hop King, for capturing that. Don't look at that cursing, but <laughs> this is a video. Can't get away from. Can't get away from the. Uh, oh, it looks like they let the tornado warning expire. So we do have an update here. The tornado warning has officially um, expired which is great news. But we still have a severe thunderstorm warning. And as you have seen um, with some of the, with some of the, uh, the videos and photos I have shown you today, um, you know, these storms are producing a lot of hail and lightning. So you still need to be indoors and away from windows if you're in the path of this storm, but you can come out of your safe spots if you live in villages of Cypress Lake, Cypress, Coles Crossing, uh, Champion Forest, Satsuma, and Jersey Village. Okay, so now I gotta change my title here really quick. So give me one second. We're gonna come over here and look at the severe thunderstorm warning. Um, let's see here. Change the title back to what it was. So we don't confuse people. That's crazy though, that we got a tornado warning out of, out of that storm. Um, so I guess we're changing this to tornado warning. Wait, uh, hmm, yeah, tornado warning coverage. 
no, tornado warning and flood coverage. And then we'll put a little thing, Texas and California. Cause we are still monitoring the floods in California. We just had to take a brief break from jumping around everywhere to cover that tornado warning. Let's see here, tornado warning and flood coverage. There we go. We are, we are monitoring for more tornado warnings, but as of right now, that one was luckily allowed to expire. So let's get out of dual pane mode here. We don't need that anymore. So all we have left here is a severe thunderstorm warning over here still in Louisiana, uh, about to go uh, just south of Critchen into Carroll and Harmon, Louisiana. Also, if you live in Hall Summit, Martin, and Ashland, need to be indoors and away from windows. A severe thunderstorm with one inch hail and 60 mile per hour winds. And then we still have this uh, severe thunderstorm warning uh, down here near Carn City and Runge in Texas. Uh, it's a very broad rotation with this. Definitely some broad rotation with that. Um, could potentially be hail though, but we'll continue to monitor these storms just in case they try to do what that other storm did. And then let me bring this back up because whenever we get bored, we can always come back to this live cam. All right, let's monitor. Oh, wow. Lightning is really going nuts right now. Check this out. This is a cam in Houston. Now looking at this, uh, did they let that severe warning expire? Yeah, they let that severe thunderstorm warning. So it's not even a severe thunderstorm warn storm anymore, but as you can see, it's still producing a lot of tech uh, lightning. You don't wanna be um, outdoors when this happens. Wow. That's a lot of lightning. All right, so let's go back over to the coverage here. I do wanna give an update over here on California. As you can see, there is a decent uh, amount of rain still off the shore from Eureka and Fortuna, uh, slowly making its way. We still have the special marine warning here uh, where there are water spouts uh, still possible. We have a severe thunderstorm capable of producing water spouts located uh, along the line extending from yada yada moving northeast at 70 knots. That's like 75 miles per hour. Uh, but the wind gusts in excess of 50 knots and small hail and water spouts are all um, potentially happening with the storm. Let's see if we can get a velocity read on this. Oops, not that. Uh, velocity. Yeah, definitely, uh, definitely a lot of movement going on out there. And potentially some water spouts right here. So run, maybe one right there, maybe one right there. Uh, you don't really need a lot of rotation for water spouts, and those could definitely be some. And that should hopefully miss land. But we're going to have to continue to monitor this storm as this is going to cause some problems and potentially some power outages if it does make landfall there uh, near Eureka and Fortuna. And over going down here to where we're expecting some more intense rain uh, near Santa Rosa, uh, just north of Santa Rosa, that rain is starting to fall. Unfortunately, uh, it's going to be, you know, pretty much out of the the range of this radar. Let's check this. There we go. This is a little bit better. Um, still not very heavy rainfall. The heaviest rainfall is over here near Eureka and Fortuna. Not seeing any news. Oh my goodness. Y'all got to check this out. Not seeing any news of uh, or any more reports there from that area. So still, still the event hasn't really started. It's actually, you know, not really performing again as the models indicated, which is interesting. 
All right, looking at chat now. Much appreciated. And I'll be doing that when tornado season fires up again. Yeah. Yep. Yep. We're going to be here too, covering the storms, not just the hype storms, but also the 2%, the 0%. Well, we're probably not going to cover all the 0%. <laughs> If I covered every uh, severe thunderstorm morning, I would uh, probably um, just never have to go to sleep, especially during uh, severe season. My Twitter. All right. Oh, my goodness. Maribel, aren't you from Huntsville, Texas? I'm assuming she's asking for my Twitter. I bet you she got some photos and videos of that hail. And we will show it. SPC updated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's got something. All right, so let's go over to the severe storm so I can go back over here to Twitter. See if we have any more reports from Shiori. No reports from our news crew, Shiori. Again, Shiori, thank you so much for helping out behind the scenes. Yep, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. Are you sending me a message or are you um, adding me? Because if you want to send me a message, just uh, follow me. And I, can, I guess I can have to follow you back. I don't, I don't know how it works. Let's go back over here to Texas here. There's still not much is happening there in California. We'll just kind of watch these storms. I do want to see if there's any rotation. Oh, video. All right. Fair enough. Maribel has some video for us. You have to follow her. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll direct everybody over there. Why not? But yeah, we were covering that storm before it hit, uh, before it hit Texas. Hopefully you were tuning in and you were aware of the severe thunderstorm warning. Oh, Proxima, that's nice of you. Nope, you're sorting. Gotcha. You liked the baby music? What are you talking about? Uh, just let me know in chat, uh, Maribel, when you send that. And while that happens, we're going to go back and look at... Oops, sorry. <laughs> Whoa! Man, this storm has got some lightning. Again, if you're just now tuning in, this cam is located in Houston, Texas. Uh, it was tornado warned, um, but the tornado warning has expired. Uh, and, and currently, we only have two severe thunderstorm warnings right now. Uh, one in Louisiana near Shreveport and another one um, just south and east, I think, of San Antonio. Let me check, double check on that behind the scenes here. Yeah, south and east of San Antonio. Still waiting on the rain to show up to California. But again, uh, the models uh, said like it was going to happen earlier. It just didn't happen. Well, is that a plane or a helicopter? Dude, there's been some lightning that we've seen go almost in that exact area. You got to calm down. <laughs> I think it's a helicopter. I don't know how helicopters do. Um, wow. Yeah, I don't know how helicopters do uh, with hail and lightning. Oh, it's a plane. Gotcha. It's a bird. It's a plane. <laughs> Yeah, this is crazy though. Wow. You don't really ever, you don't really like, well, this is pretty much the peak of what you get um, with uh, a lot of lightning from a storm. Now it's up. All right. You and Blondie and your usual great jobs helping out Evan in the channel. Exactly. Couldn't do this without you guys. I really couldn't. All right, so I'm gonna go back over here shortly and now we're gonna go pull up the video. 
なあ。Alright, so here is that video. Of the hail, wow. You can really see it. Looks like quarter sized. Wow, it's covering the ground almost completely. This is from Huntsville, Texas. This is Maribel's uh, video. Wow, that is intense. Good capture. Sorry that you had to go through that. You know what I tell you? I tell them, and I've told Maribel this multiple times. <laughs> You know, severe thunderstorm warning. Make sure you're indoors and away from windows. I would not suggest that you um, go out on your porch when that happens. But it sounds like she's all right, which is good. Um, but yeah, we'll watch it one more time. Trying to see what the biggest piece of hail is. It looks like quarter. Did you get any photos of like the hail in your hand, Maribel? People to bolt for safety. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Proxima. Your daughter's apartment. Gotcha. Wow. Great capture. Again, this uh, video was taken by Maribel Guterres. Um, let's go over to here. I'm going to post her link in chat. If you want to see it, go over to her page. She has zero followers. Okay, now you have one follower. Everybody, let's get her to five followers. Go over to her page, her links in the chat, and you can go watch this video for yourself over on her page here. Um, click the like, click the retweet. Let's get this out to people so everybody in this area knows, hey, this is the kind of hail and we can expect from these storms. Let me uh, go back over to here real quick while I switch some things up. Why is this, by the way, all small? Hold on, I gotta fix this small screen. Oops. So we might have something else to show here. Special marine warning. What rains? Yeah, we still have that uh, special marine warning um, off of the coast of Port Reyes. Is this the same one? Aw, good. I'm glad you like that, Ella. Yes, there you go. Look at that. We're all band together and we give people the credit they deserve when they post something awesome like that. Good job, y'all. All right, so let me, uh, let's go check on that real quick. So we still have the severe thunderstorm warning, warning heading towards Martin Ashland um, in Louisiana near Shreveport. Uh, we still have the severe thunderstorm warning. Uh, I wonder if they're going to allow this to expire or they might extend it here shortly. We'll see. It's heading towards Yorktown, just south of, of Kubala store. Looking at the velocities, still have some broad and weak rotation there. Um, but it's still there. So we'll have to continue to monitor it, obviously. Um, and also we have these flood warnings that are still ongoing up here near Moulton, Texas and just north of Columbus, Texas. And then let's go check out this, uh, sp I think we have a, oh, hold on. So we do have a view of how big this hail was. Looks like it was around a quarter sized, maybe a little bit bigger than a quarter sized hail, depending on how big her hand is. But, uh, wow. And you had a lot of that fall. So hopefully y'all's roofs and cars are okay. Everybody go over there. Uh, we'll put a link in chat one more time. So everybody can go over and look at it for themselves on a bigger screen. Yes, the power of the weather community. Look, she's got two followers. Let's get her up to five, guys. We all, we all banded together. And to get this retweeted and liked, now let's band together to get her to five followers. She deserves five followers from getting that great footage. 
All right, uh, let's go back over to here. I want to go look at the special marine warning because we might have two now. Yeah, so we have two special marine warnings now. Can we get a better look at that storm? No, we can't. Does look like this storm is starting to get closer. I, I, I mean, I still think it's going to pass east of, of Eureka there. Uh, but it does look like this uh, more southern part might have a more of a south and eastern trajectory. Uh, our north and eastern trajectory. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you, Proxima, for doing that. No problem, Maribel. Thank you for sharing your experience. Next time, I would suggest you stay indoors and away from windows. Um, but, you know, you got the footage and it was great footage. So we also give you credit there, obviously. All right, let's see if there's still any uh is there still lightning in houston there is still lightning in houston dang it it keeps happening oh, it looks like we also have a one inch hail report uh mix of what appears to be one inch to 1.75 inches off of montgomery road uh that's in huntsville texas so not only do we have maribel and her report to our stream, somebody also reported to the NWS in that area uh, between 1 and 1.75 inch hail off of Montgomery Road. Uh, I wish I knew the NWS for this area. What's the NWS for this area? I have a photo in my phone, I think. Well, I tweeted it once. Hold on. Because... If, if I do have it to be found, then we can at the NWS in this area, which we should be doing for every post that we show. Where is it? I guess it would be under media, it would be the fastest way to find it. There it is. Um, yes, that's uh, NWS Houston. So I'm gonna do that really quick. Uh, so while I do that, we're gonna watch uh, this severe thunderstorm. Just give me a couple seconds. It only take me like two seconds, but I only have two screens. So I have to like go back and forth. Where is it? Oh, Maribel is now at three followers. Good job. All right, let me go at NWS Houston. Perfect. Okay. Again, if you're just now tuning in, ah, I don't know why it does that. I think it's like pressing two, because that's my hotkey for switching over to the scene. I think it also presses it on YouTube. Oh, you did it before me. Congrats. Thank you for subscribing, for subscribing SR. I appreciate it. Thank you for the followers, all. No problem. Looks like the severe thunderstorm warning. Let's do a quick little update here. A severe thunderstorm warning did just get extended here, um, just south and east of uh, San Antonio. As it goes over Yorktown, still being warned for one inch hail, um, heading towards Arkneckville, Thomaston, Verheli, Golly, and Mayersville. So you guys need to be indoors and away from windows. Wouldn't suggest you taking photos during this storm, looking at somebody. Uh, but yeah, uh, that is the latest update there. Going back over to the cam. I think the storm has shifted a little bit, so let's make this a little smaller. Kind of just put it like that. Thank you. 
That's crazy. You know, I do want to show you all something. So this uh, severe thunderstorm warned uh, storm just south and east of Shreveport is actually starting very, um, very uh, light rotation. Gonna keep my eye on it though. Still got one inch hail possible there. Also has this hook echoey type shape. It's a really small storm though, uh, but it is still severe thunderstorm warned. So definitely interesting. My dog will not stop whining. Coming back over here to Eureka. Not much has changed. Still have this little area here and also this little area back here that um, could be producing some hail. Might, like this one right here, might scrape land here and cause some uh, some elevated winds of near 50 miles per hour. I don't, not sure if it's gonna make it all the way into Eureka and Fortuna though. I check down here to see if uh, the models are starting to or if yeah there we go okay so this is what we were expecting to pop up um, at around when we started going live but we're starting to get some pretty hefty uh, thunderstorms thunder as you can see off the coast of San Francisco um, and also what I want to do really quick is look at the METAR data See if we're starting to get those gusts that are supposed to come in as well. 38 mile per hour wind gust uh, just south of San Francisco there. 30 mile per hour wind gust. Yeah, the highest gust we have is 38 miles near San Mateo. And we're starting to see these bigger thunderstorms pop up here. So we'll have to keep an eye. This is this is why we went live. Was This showed up in the models and I wanted to be live for it as it could be a potentially significant flooding threat as we should get multiple uh, rounds of these uh, pretty intense thunderstorms here. Oh wait, let me. Sorry. My bad. I do that once every now and then. But yes, yeah, so we do have these uh, potentially uh, these these bigger thunderstorms popping up here. As you can see, they're actually starting to get up there in the DBZs there. Uh, definitely some lightning going on with them as well. Um, so we we'll have to keep an eye on these as we should see multiple ones of these storms start to form out here. Um, and as you can tell, uh, they are making they are, these ones are definitely going to make its way uh, towards the coast here. And as you can see over here near San Mateo, just south of San Francisco, we have 38 mile per hour wind gusts already making it onto shore. Um, so this is the this is the area that we were starting to that we were going to be monitoring today and it's starting to materialize also we have some heavier rain entering towards soledad greenfield and king city um california as well and just south of king city uh some more heavy rain down there as well so the flood threat is starting to pick up we're going to keep an eye out for um for those uh flooding reports I'll give you a quick little update on these storms and then we'll go back over to gawking at the light oh my gosh we're already missing so many yeah here's that rotation still super weak basically non-existent i just thought it was interesting um it's moving just south of martin um still severe thunderstorm warned for the same but i don't think there's many people in the path of this one anymore not at cities that i can see um maybe a little bit of rotation trying to form there not really 
Sorry, I like I got my head on a swivel now. It's just like we had a tornado warning. It's like so out of the blue. Here's the update on that storm that we are watching on the cam and definitely still got the outflow dominant. Tons of lightning. Um, the rotation um, is definitely outflow dominant on this storm. You can see just by the way that it looks on radar, definitely outflow. Um, we do still have potentially some smaller hail with this. Not quarter size, not enough to severe warn it. Um, but looking over here, I mean, it's mean. It, it, it's got a lot. I got a lot of lightning. Yeah, that's the latest update on all of the storms. Yeah, I just realized, Shiori, if you're if you're sharing uh, tweets, I guess I can check it on my phone. If you have something um, important to share. Let's see here. Okay, no extra messages. From Shiori. She's probably scrolling through the hail photos. Yes. Yeah, we've already gone over the uh, severe thunderstorm morning down there in Yorktown. Alright, I'm gonna walk my dog real big. quick. I'll be right back. least not walking them yeah the lightning's going nuts wow that's cr that's crazy this could be some of the most prolific hail that we have seen. I mean, uh, lightning that we have seen on stream. Really, really active storm. I'm doing good. Thanks for asking. How you doing? Got some good ones I'm sending you when you're not expecting them. All right. Sounds good to me. You got some cool clips of the lightning on the live cam. Do you want me to send them to you? Uh, yeah, you can send, send it to me on uh, Twitter. And DP, yeah, so this, uh, this, uh, this webcam, uh, Jamie, is in Houston, Texas. And what this this is from this storm that has just got re severe thunderstorm warned here, as it does seem like that hail is starting to pick up. 
Uh, and it's now heading towards Jersey Village. So if you live in Satsuma, Jersey Village, Attics, um, you guys uh, in Hudson, you guys are in the path of the severe thunderstorm warning. Um, it's warned for one inch hail and under 50 mile per hour wind. So it's mainly a hail threat there. Uh, so make sure that you're indoors and away from windows. As you can tell from over here, not only is there hail and wind, there's also lots of lightning headed towards Houston. Wow, that looked like that lightning bolt went up. Someone clipped that and sent it to me. That looked like the lightning bolt went up from the ground. Was that the only one that saw that? Someone clipped that. Lola, you clip it. You're the clipping master. Yeah, but this is a this is a pretty pretty strong severe thunderstorm morning. So you definitely don't want to be outside when this thing comes through. Whoa! That was a nice bolt. Someone clipped that one too. Can we get a lightning total? I do not have that ability. Unfortunately. Well, we can tell you it's happening. You can try counting it. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And that was in about ten seconds. So ex ex um, extrapolate that over a whole minute. That's about a hundred. No, sixty. Sixty lightning strikes every minute. That seems low. Thank you, Jamie, for subscribing. I appreciate it. It's crazy, though. Oh, by the way, that severe thunderstorm warning just south and east of Shreveport has been allowed to expire. This is definitely way more active than I thought it was going to be. Will not lie. Let's, uh, let's see. We don't have to go back over to California. We're still waiting on... Those storms are going to take a little while to come in. Uh, but we'll do one... We'll do a quick little update here. So here's the... That severe thunderstorm warning that we just went over. So you guys still need to be indoors and away from window. But we forgot to go over this one. So I just want to do that real quick. So here's that severe thunderstorm warning near Yorktown. Uh, it looks like the hail core is starting to redevelop as it just went over Highway 72 there. Um, still moving off to the east. Uh, so if you live in Arneckville, Golly, Mayersville, Upper Mayersville, uh, Varheli, and Thomaston, you got a big storm coming. Just go indoors and away from windows if you want to be safe. Am I still on the path? Let's go check on Huntsville for you. Um, ba -ba -ba. Uh. I don't really have many good radars for Huntsville. Looks like you still got some storms near near you, but none of them are um, as dangerous as the one that just uh, came near you. So you should be all right. Looks like the threat has moved off to your east and to your south. We also have some of these little scragglers starting to enter in here. Let's check these for rotation just to make sure okay we're good all right but that's the latest update there switching back over to the the crazy lightning are in Lufkin. Gotcha. Crawlers, yeah, for sure. How big were the twisters in Lufkin? Technically, I'm a Dibel. I'm in Dibel. So I just had heavy rain with really strong wind. Well, that's good. Although I will let you know that we are we've gotten multiple flash flood warnings. So if you're getting a lot of that heavy rain over and over, uh, you know, and you live near a creek, just monitor the creek. Make sure it doesn't get uh, doesn't get uh, too high. And if it starts to rise and enter into the yard, um, 
go seek higher ground. It is crazy though, like how long this storm has had like a lot of lightning. Like it hasn't, whoa, that was a big one. That's crazy. Ben is a troll. He was also banned on Nate's lives. Well, so far he's been kind of nice. We'll, we'll let him stick around until he starts trolling. Maybe he learned his lesson from the ban. Is he like a troll or a bot? You can't have underground shelters? Where? Oh my goodness. This storm is awesome. Whoa. Oh, you're in Texas. Oh, is it just like your city or Texas altogether? Huh. How many lightning strikes have there been in the past hour? Well, I counted 60 in 10 sec or 10 in 10 seconds. So that'd be six. Whoa. Yo, somebody clipped that one. That was a good one. Wow. Yeah, no, clip that last one, Lola. Just the ones where like where it's crazy and you can see the bolt. Wow. That is crazy. On Alaska. Water table is low. Oh, okay. That makes sense. But you can have like an above ground storm shelter though, so it should be all right. You go check the radar on this guy again. It's an impressive storm. Looks like we are getting a little bit of rotation again on this storm. Uh, very weak, um, but it's there. Hold on, I gotta, I gotta restart the music here real quick. One second. I don't know why it does that. It'll just like randomly stop. Okay, there we go. Then we'll get everything back fired up. There we go. But yeah, as you can see, we do have uh, just a little bit of rotation. It's not anything too concerning yet, but we are gonna have to monitor this um, as the storm heads into Houston. Maybe. But look at this, the big glob of storm here um, heading towards Houston. And this is what's causing all that lightning that we're seeing. Again, the cam is located I don't know exactly where in Houston, but I know it's in Houston. Um, it's definitely in front of the storm, not behind it. So we'll see if it actually goes over us or not. Birding, if you could provide like an exact like street or like little smaller city that this is in in Houston, let me know if you're still watching. Okay, so on Alaska is close to Huntsville, Texas. It was an EF3 and long track. Oh my goodness. That is not good. Like, was your house directly hit or just like your city? Oh my goodness. Were you in a storm shelter? Or did you have to go to like your lowest, most interior uh, floor of your house?
Yeah, that is true. That's good advice, Proxima. That's good advice. If you have, you know, if you're having a home built, you can have an above ground uh, shelter uh, built to specs during new home construction. So you don't have to. Whoa. Dang, every now and then this thing really is letting loose on some crazy lightning. Yeah, that is true, Proxima. That's a good point. Hunkered down under the bar in the kitchen. Oh my goodness. Well, I'm glad you're okay. That must have been an extremely scary experience. Well, if the water table is too low, then you can't really have a bunch of people with below ground things. All right. I'm going to check on uh, California in the background here. Oh, looks like we got another uh, severe thunderstorm. Let's uh, go check this out really quick. We got another uh, severe thunderstorm warning uh, for Louisiana, just south and east of Shreveport. Uh, if you live in Nachadoches, Pow Powhatan, Campty, Goldana and Calvin. You guys need to be indoors and away from windows. This storm has one inch hail and 60 mile per hour winds. Uh, definitely do not want to be outside during this storm. That is the update on that. And you can see it had a pretty big spike there of hail as it approached uh, Highway 49 there. That is the latest update on that. Since we're here, might as well do updates on all the other storms, right? You got news? Yeah, I just looked at it. Don't worry. Uh, is that the only news you got? Just the severe thunderstorm warning? Or is there other news? Well, that's the only news. We just checked it out. Looks like that rotation is starting to die off there. So that's good news. I was afraid that that was going to try to start rotating again. You give a video from Houston. Okay. <laughs> that was my point, Storm Chip. Uh, that was my point, Tyler. That's exactly almost what I said. <laughs> All right, let's go check out the news. Apparently, we got some new news. So we're going to go over to here, there. We've got to uh, re-expand this. So we got the full view. There we go. And we're going to go over to here. New news. Who pissed off Thor? <laughs> this is Ranger Houston. Like and retweet. This is basically what we've been watching the entire time. Yeah, it looks just as crazy from the ground there. Wow. This is Ranger Houston putting his Twitter in the chat if you want uh go over to his page to see that video yourself it's right down here like it retweet it give him a little comment uh but thank you ranger houston for taking that video let me go over to here all right so that's it for the news we're going to go back over to the cam Back to the digital storm. Oops, I always do that. Back to the digital storm chase where we have tons of crazy lightning as a severe thunderstorm is now approaching us. I can tell, I can see the base of the storm actually right here. Uh, so it is somewhat coming towards us. Again, this cam is in Houston. Uh, this is a, a severe thunderstorm worn cell uh, with one inch hail and up to 60 mile per hour winds. So if you're in the path of this storm, like this cam is, Make sure you are indoors and away from windows. Oh, that did come from the ground. Oh my gosh. Birding. Way to go. I knew that came from the ground. 
hold on one second. We got to go look at this new post that Birding posted. Um, Blondie, can you put um, uh, Birding's uh, name in the chat or Birding's uh, uh, Twitter in the chat? Okay, so Birding's uh, link is in the chat, and this is that lightning bolt I swore came from the ground, and it does. It actually came from the ground and went up into the cloud, and then another one. Look at that. She got all the good stuff. Whoa! This is the, she's watching the same cam that we are, obviously, because she sent uh, the cam. So she's getting all, so this is what she does, right? So we watch it, you know, as it happens. Um, live, but she, you know, she, it, she's the one that gets the cam. She finds the cam. She's watching it at all times too, and she captures these amazing shots. She video edited it so you can see what happens. I mean, it comes from the ground. I'm pretty sure. That is so cool. And then you get this big anvil crawler, and then one of the fingers strikes down. That is, wow. What a catch. Birding never fails to absolutely blow me away. You are so good at this. I'm going to watch it one more time. Sorry. <laughs> this is awesome. Oh, wait. Shoot. Sorry. I just realized it was kind of cut off there. Let's watch it like this so you guys can see the whole thing. So there it is. It goes from the bottom up. Sorry about that. And then we have this anvil crawler. And then in slow-mo. Wow. Absolutely insane. Y'all better come over here. Her link's in chat. Go over to her Twitter. Like and retweet this. Show her some love. She deserves... All the credit in the world um, for doing this. I mean, absolutely. Just blows my mind. This is Birding Peep. Look at her. Having fun next to a cow. Birding Peep. WX. Uh, again, her link is in the chat. I'm going to post it again in the chat. Go over here. Give her a follow if you appreciated what she just shot there. All right, we're going to come back over here real quick. Again, that um, that video that Birding took uh, was from the same webcam that we were watching uh, because she sent it to me. <laughs> um, let me uh, try to line up my radar a little bit better. Shoot. There we go. Yeah, because she, she said, but that is of this storm here, this severe thunderstorm warning um, that had a tornado warning on it earlier. Um, but yeah, so there's the front of the storm. Uh, it's warned for one inch hail. It's not up to 60 miles per hour. I forgot that they lowered it, so that's my bad. Uh, but it is, um, you know, you, you don't want to mess around with this storm. I think you guys have seen enough, right? It's a pretty dangerous storm. So if you live in attics, um and and near and just to the west of Aldine there near Houston you guys need to be um indoors and away from windows no current tornado warnings yeah well there might be let me check yeah no current tornado warnings Chazzy, can you calm down please just like, just sit and lay down. My dog's always such a nervous wreck. Thank you, Maribel, for doing that. And Proxima, you guys rock. You guys are killing it. Helping support the other, the, the, the world's first successful digital storm chaser. I know, the world's first digital storm chaser, period. Birding Pete. She made it up. And and she's the only one that I think that can hold that title. And we still have this um, this broad rotation here uh, that just passed through Yorktown. It seems like it's trying to broadly rotate. It's been doing this 
for quite a long time. Hasn't really ever picked up its act. And in fact, some of that could be the hail just wrapping around there. But we still do have this Arnickville, Mayersville, Upper Mayersville. Um, and we're going to take a brief moment here. I know everybody wants to look at the lightning. But we need to take a brief moment here. I want to check um, back over to California. Because this is why we were streaming. And it looks like we did get a marine warning here. So this is the National Weather Service and San Francisco Bay Area has issued. Okay, special marine warning. Large area of strong thunderstorms were approaching the outer coastal waters of Southwest Port Arena. Thunderstorms moving northeast at 40 knots. Uh, gusty outflow winds, small hails, down pours and including the possibility of water spouts so that is this uh, line of thunderstorms still approaching the coast still hasn't made it there <laughs> good i'm glad you like it you see another severe thunderstorm warning yeah there's one also uh near uh in, in louisiana Let's look at the velocities here because there is water spouts possible. This could potentially be trying to water spout here, but most likely not. But look at these winds. I mean, this is like, look at this. I mean, this is like 60 to 80, 90 miles per hour. Now, I can't guarantee that that's making it all the way to the ground, but I mean, we got some pretty potent winds making its way onto shore here. Uh, so definitely not good. We might have to uh, Shiori. If you could check out the um, the power outages up here near Eureka and Fortuna, as they might be starting to tick up there, as we're getting increased amount of rains um, and also um, winds up here in Eureka. Let me see what the wind gusts are like. Still 33 mile per hour wind gusts, at least over there by Fortuna. I wish we had a METAR site down here, but we do not. Um, but yeah, that's the update there. We're still waiting on the rain to make it to shore. This one's kind of scraping to shore. Um, still not there yet, which is good news. Coming back over to here. We do have this severe thunderstorm warning over here in Louisiana. Uh, near Nachadoches. Sorry, I thought I had a news update, but we do not have a news update. But yeah, near Nachadoches, we have a severe thunderstorm warning. Uh, moving off to the north and or to the north and east, uh, this area was actually in the crosshairs. I think of that uh, tornado outbreak that we had recently. This is not anything like that. Not anything like that. This is just a severe thunderstorm warning. We're not expecting any tornadoes today, even though we did have a tornado warning. Um, so that's why we're kind of monitoring this area a little bit more than we technically would have today. Um, but yeah, so. No rotation on this storm, uh, but there is some hail, potentially up to one inch. Um, so if you live in Camp Tico, Donna Cabin, still need to be indoors and away from windows. And we actually might have an um, another severe thunderstorm forming over here uh, just south of Isla. Um, some dangerous hail, most likely with this up to a quarter inch. We'll see if they end up severe warning that one as well. All right, I know what you guys are waiting for. Let's go back to Houston and watch the cam. Oh, wait, let's go back to Houston and watch the cam. <laughs> there any more lightning? Uh oh. Don't get mad at me, but all right, hold on. We gotta, we gotta move this to. Oh wait, shoot. Let's do this, and then shoot. This is the only way. Unless I move this window capture underneath everything, then I can move it like that. Okay, we'll just do that then. Oh, 
Hello, GS70, uh, GS70 Stealth. Welcome. We are watching a webcam here. Looks like the storm is dying, though, near Houston. The lightning is definitely not as strong and as frequent as it was earlier. Uh, but this is a webcam watching a severe thunderstorm warned thunderstorm um, in uh, in Texas. Was tornado warned? This actual same storm here that we're, wa we're, we're watching was tornado warned. So it looks like uh, the power outages are relatively the same. Might have ticked up a little bit. Um, there in Eureka, we have 5,000 power outages in Mendocino County and 7,098 um, power outages in San Diego County near Mexican border. All right. Unexpected power outages being investigated. Thank you, Shiori. Natchitoches. All right. Thank you, Mike. Today is still cruising and the lightning is still insane. <laughs> lightning the mood. <laughs> Proxima. <clears throat> Tyler says shift and drag for stuff helps in a lot. Shift and drag. Yeah, but then that, like I have to reshape it back because news is on a whole different screen. This cam is looking at I-69 in the west, Houston facing north. Should we should get hit directly? Okay, thank you, Birdie. So the storm is a coming. It's losing its strength a little bit which is good news. It is kind of funny, though. I really need to practice uh, or at least learn a little bit more about the West Coast <laughs> and when it rains there. Because... Hey, so far, the models have just been dead wrong. I got to figure out what model is good for the West Coast. Because it should already be raining there pretty hard. Uh, actually, back when I started the stream. And it's not yet. Oh, let me... Never mind. We'll do a weather update here shortly. We'll give it another five minutes and we'll go over the severe thunderstorms again. You were in Los Angeles this time last year and it was raining for like a week stay straight. It sucked. Yeah. So the thing about Los Angeles is that when you live there, I mean, technically you get just like sunlight all the time. Um, it's really nice. It's warm. Uh, but, you know, you get a big rainstorm like this where it's raining for, you know, uh, like a like a couple of days and you see no sun you're like you're like what is life is this even real it doesn't seem real when it rains chazzy what are you doing for just chill you have water you just went on walkies and you just ate the only reason that you could be sad is because you're missing your bubbles yeah are you missing your bubbles How long have we been streaming for? Let's go check that out. Because I was only planning on going stre or streaming for four hours. Okay, so we're at three hours. Uh, and 14 minutes. So. Probably stay live for another uh, 35 minutes. Again, I, I, I've got a, I'm going to talk to uh, Sean Paul. He's like this really smart dude um, and ask him which weather models are the best for the West, because we should have already had, uh, should have already had um, rain there and it just hasn't happened yet. I mean, the models were way off by like, what is it? Three hours? <laughs> Well, 
but today um like down here near houston they the storms have basically acted exactly how they should have um besides that one storm that randomly started rotating looks like they did let the severe thunderstorm warning expire for that storm in houston like i said it is falling apart luckily um, but it's still got a lot of lightning as we saw with that uh, webcam Lola, suggest the next poll. You're good at that. Do you like lightning? There you go. That's going to be one that depends on a lot. Do you like lightning, close lightning, or far light? We'll just say lightning from afar. Lightning from afar. Wait, that was bad. Sorry. My vote was always was for sunshine. Yeah. Yeah, that's what California is for you know you go there and it's supposed to be sunny and warm you know to go there and it rains that must have sucked um do you like old lightning from afar there we go question mark here we go new poll is up vote now if you want to Yeah, I like close lightning too. Oh wow, look at this. We've got a new hail core forming on this storm. Um, definitely probably gonna drop, you know, between one to 1.5 inch hail here, uh, just right over the highway, which is gonna suck, to be quite honest, for a lot of the people driving on there. Um, especially if you're going, if you're going like most, most of the times though, when heavy rain happens, people slow down. Uh, so hopefully they, they're doing that right now um but yeah they're probably gonna run right into this hail um and they're gonna get some damage unfortunately because we we see it all the time no matter how many severe thunderstorms or no matter what everybody does in the community you know people are always driving still during these storms all right just passed over highway 72 is heading towards golly that is the latest update on the severe thunder. Wow, it actually got uh, pretty intense there. If we move this back just a little bit, pretty intense there, uh, right over Brand Road uh, near Yorktown. There, yeah, that is the latest on that storm. Hopefully, you guys are still indoors and away from windows, like I've been asking you to do. But uh, oh well, we now have two severe thunderstorm warnings over here in uh louisiana now so we got this one back here just crossing the texas and louisiana border i'm gonna check this one for rotation don't want another storm to surprise us okay we're good there no rotation uh but this storm does have one inch hail 60 miles per hour winds heading towards z wall a uh, noble converse pleasant hill and that's it oh pleasant hill hmm place sounds familiar uh, but all you guys need to be indoors and away from windows and this one near camp D is still severe thunderstorm warned still heading towards chestnut goldana cold water and calvin again this is in louisiana we have three severe thunderstorm warnings right now we'll keep we'll, i want to keep my eye let's see which one of these is mm, well since we have two up here we'll watch this one just for a little bit well actually while we wait, I'm going to see if we can still see lightning on the cam. <laughs> Do you like Roblox? I have a feeling that poll uh, would not perform well for you. <laughs> yeah, we still have lightning, technically. Just kidding. <laughs> GS70 likes it. I've never played it, so I just know it's more of a younger generation game. Oh, apparently a lot of people play it. Proxima with another $15 donation. Thank you so much. Because of your donations, we're getting a new mic soon. And then um, after that, we're going to be getting a new webcam whenever it is. Um, yeah, whenever um it's available you're helping the stream out amazingly it's quite crazy oh wow we're starting to see rain on the cam now 
Uh, but let's read this. I like lightning from afar. I even like it in a jar, but I do not like it when it hits my car. And I also don't like green eggs and ham. <laughs> Did you write? Are like? Are you secretly Doctor Seuss? Because you like you you definitely have some writing skills. All right, so there's still a little bit of lightning. We'll go watch this cam. Still a little bit, and we're starting to get some rain. Is an interesting resource. Sorry for so many videos. It's okay, Lola. Thank you for clipping all that. We have some news. We do have some news. So let me go over here real quick while I set it up. Oh, sorry, I did not see that. Uh, thank you, GS70 Stealth, for the $10 donation. Sorry, I was checking my phone because uh, we got some news. But yes, thank you so much for that. Really, you guys are super nice. Uh, you know, you guys have been donating consistently every stream. It's been going in the pot, and this stream is about to look so much better. You guys have no idea. On Tuesday, just wait. I'm going to go live on Tuesday just to show off my new mic. I don't care if there's severe weather. I probably will have to do a forecast Tuesday, actually, come to think about it. Um, but yeah, thank you. Working together, we're, we're going to get there. We're going to be, we're going to provide some of the best coverage, even though, we, you know, technically, I think we do a pretty good job already, but need to have everything working in working order. So I do appreciate it, whether you're uh, donating for my bills or also to upgrade stuff. Um, the donations are super, um, super helpful. So I do appreciate that, both from you, Stealth, and Proxy. Okay. What was I gonna do? Right, we have news. Sorry. Uh, let's see here. And then I gotta make sure this is the right, oops. Just broke the fourth wall there, sorry about that. We gotta expand this. Perfect, all right. Check this out. So this was in Houston earlier. Look at that. You see that lowering? You can also hear the uh, thunder. I don't know if that's a tornado or not. I don't think it is. It looks just like a, a pretty mean wall cloud. Uh, but wow, this was posted an hour ago. I'm assuming when there was a tornado warning. But yeah, check that out. That's crazy. Uh, this was posted by, oops. Let me like and retweet that. This is Jake Lupardis. Uh, he is uh, the one that recorded this video. So if you guys could give him a follow. Um, but most importantly, come to here. Let me let me uh, put his thing. There's his link in the chat. Most importantly, guys, what I want you to do is 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 retweet his post. That's what I want. Not this one because somebody quoted him. He's getting a lot of quotes from people. Um, but it's this one right here. Like and, oh, I thought I retweeted it. Like and retweet it. Show people what some of these storms have been doing today. This has helpful. This helps people respect the storms a little bit better. So that's the latest there. Oh, 
looks like we are definitely getting hit by the storm now. As vi visibility has dropped to almost zero here in Houston, Texas. Thank you, Maribel. Oh, interesting. Thank you, Birding. We need a top contributor spot on the stream on closing or opening. I mean, I would if somebody thought that they that was like necessary. I, I don't think I, I think the people that contribute to this channel would not care for that. But I mean, if they want it, I'll do it 100%. I have no issue with it. We actually have a spot, I think, on Radar Mega where we could do that. But here we are in Houston, and as you can see, um, there definitely is some heavy rain as this uh, storm rolls through. It is not severe thunderstorm warrant, though. But it is pretty mean. Just be indoors. Definitely want to be caught outside for this without something over your head. Just a way to honor them as they you grow. Yeah, I mean, if they want it, I mean, I would. I have no problem doing that. I just don't think they donate to do that. I think they just donate to support the channel. I don't think they would care. I'll leave it up to them. Wow. Definitely coming down pretty hard here. Yeah, see, that's what I thought. But I don't think that's a bad idea, uh, Blondie. You know, some people do, like, donate to, like, look cool but i don't think that's what prox but gs70 are doing but i could I mean, like i said it doesn't matter to me is that acid rain no i don't think so what's making y'all think it's acid rain <laughs> kill us <laughs> that's funny I, we're gonna add another emote soon message second video same guy all right i go check it out we might have some more news to show you guys oh wow again we're getting this footage from jake and this is wild Look at that. So this is Jake Lupardus. Look at that lightning and this that structure of the cloud. Wow. Y'all can come over and retweet it. Hopefully you still got his uh still got his Twitter. Let me uh that again real quick. Putting it in chat, you can go um like and retweet it. See it for yourself. Follow him if you really want to. I would suggest it. I would encourage it. But this, but Shiori just um, got this, or found this on the web, and now we are sharing it for you guys to see, and for me to see. I've never seen this. Wow, what a great catch! Um. This video. Okay, so we can show this. So this is sent by Jason Hill. Hail uh, near Houston. Well, that's a lot of hail. I'm almost up to quarter size there. That was probably when it was severe warned. So we might have another video. Let's uh, go back over to here while we wait for that. But yeah, that's... Oh, wow. Check this out. 
So this storm near Zawoli um, in Louisiana is actually starting to pick up some strength here. We have probably some quarter-sized hail still, yep. Maybe even larger than that, um, heading towards Highway 71 towards Noble. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it looks like it appears to be heading in between Zewol and Noble, but we know how these storms work. Sometimes they go a little bit more to the north, a little bit more to the south and it's going to continue to do that as it tracks off to the north and east so if you live in z -Wall, noble converse or pleasant hill you need to be indoors and away from windows and this one still continues but this storm isn't as strong um probably not going to be um you know we'll see if it can reorganize its hail core <laughs> john that's funny uh if it can reorganize the hail core um then it's going to drop some um uh, some more hail, uh, some larger hail over Goldana, Coldwater, and Calvin. So you guys still need to be indoors and away from windows. Uh, GS70 Stealth with another $10 donation. Thank you again so much. I feel like I can't thank you guys enough. Like the way that you guys support me and this channel uh, is just amazing. And I, I, I definitely appreciate it. <laughs> you guys are awesome we're gonna turn this channel into like a little like uh like we're gonna like soon we'll be able to find a video and we'll have so many of us going from like you know from the chat into like twitter or something and you know we'll be able to like get make videos go viral just by working together that's my hope That'd be cool. Or at least for that aspect. Uh, looks like we have some more. Wow, check this out. So we have some more hail. This is posted by DJ. This is a storm in Huntsville, Texas. It's Devin who found this. Um, but we have some, what appears to be Penny... Let me make sure this is showing up right. Yeah, there we go. Uh, penny to uh, quarter size hail there in Huntsville. This was probably taken earlier. But let, man, look at that. It looks like it snowed. And then this is a video. Wow. Absolutely crazy. I'm gonna like and retweet this one as well. You know what to do. This is DJ. Gonna put it in chat here for you guys. So we can all head over there together. As DJ. As always, like and retweet. Give him a follow. Um, but yeah. That is the latest update there from Huntsville, Texas. This one down here is not really as strong as it was. I mean, this thing has produced some pretty big hail. Especially uh, like like 30 minutes ago, um, but as of right now, uh, it hasn't produced that. And we also still, surprisingly enough, still have some rotation with this. It's completely outflow dominant, but I just find it crazy because like we're in a zero percent tornado risk. Still have some storms with some naders inside of it. Let's go over here. Check out these storms in California. See if they're getting, see if we're even going to get a chance to cover them. I swear, I am the worst. If you're from California, you can dislike this stream. You're allowed. I keep timing these dang streams wrong. I want to cover your area. <laughs> I swear, the model said at 8 p.m. it was going to be raining. And they were just, I mean, it, it technically is raining. I mean, it's raining in Stockton, it's raining in Sacramento, um, but it was supposed to be a lot more rain than this. So technically it's good news for you, but I definitely messed up. <laughs> Donna Barrow. Okay, we'll look at that in a sec. I just want to do a quick, um, quick update on that. I mean, so this, these storms are going to be making their way um, into Santa Rosa and Ronert Park. Pen and also Petaluma and Novato, uh, Richmond, Oakland, and Hayward here shortly. Uh, so, you know, get ready. This should be the beginning of the rain. 
in that area that is what we're watching for that moderate risk of flooding so flooding is definitely possible trees down are possible and so are power outages uh, looks like this rain up north of eureka is, is starting to move into shore here might have been a i bet you that was a pretty decent gust that came in right there how much you want to bet uh, but it hit uh, Bag, Lagoon, Trinidad, and McKinneyville. And yeah. That's probably going to continue there for a little bit. And, uh, you know, if, if your creeks start flooding near you, make sure you get to higher ground there. All right. What are we going to do now? What time is it? I only wanted to be live for four hours because we got a lot to do let me tell you there's something in the models that are hinting at some severe weather it's still five days out so i'm gonna wait um for a little bit um yeah i'm gonna wait for a little bit you know just to just so that the models can get closer they get a little bit more accurate so when i say words um i can actually mean them and not be like, well, this could or could not happen. You know, we can actually get a semblance of what the storm's going to look like. Uh, but there is a chance. But we're not going to go over it. I'm not going to show you any models or say anything more about that. Other than there is a chance for some more severe weather um, next week. Um, what else? I mean, that's pretty much it. That We're probably going to be shifting most of our focus to that. And then on Monday... Um, we're going to be doing like a double, double thing. We're going to be doing like a forecast um a forecast uh, uh for that severe weather event if it turns out to be severe or worth covering um and also uh on monday there's gonna be like a moderate risk for almost the entire state of california like so we're gonna be covering that as well hello ash k welcome i donate but i'm poor till tomorrow night hey that's you're okay jesse you're a okay how's lufkin texas looking well now that we have this now we have my old radar back we can just search like that bam oh, i missed that lufkin texas is looking great looking great right now though there is some storms with some thunder um coming your way but i really don't think any of these are going to become severe storm warned they could potentially uh but that's the area yeah these three little uh three little boundaries here that are firing storms on them uh, whether or not they'll hit you or not i don't know but in about an hour and a half i expect to start hearing some th rumbles of thunder some thunder of rumbles wait no some thumbles of runder that's the correct way to screw that up uh going over uh your area if not some heavier rain but if there's some but we won't be live then i've got to save my voice and everything uh so we're gonna we're gonna stop in 20 minutes potentially potentially there is a chance but it does look like um I, I would like if this continues to train like this as you can see this line is not moving much and you guys already gotten a pretty substantial amount of rain there in huntsville probably about an inch inch and a half and if this kind of lines up here in the right way uh they could cause some flooding but it does as of right now like it's gonna go north of you but you know just keep keep weather aware uh you know i don't th again this isn't like a tornado risk type thing as long as you're indoors um which i know you're not gonna be maribel you're gonna be outdoors filming if uh if it comes over you <laughs> but you know, as long as you stay indoors and away from windows, you'll be completely safe from these storms. It's not, I mean, it's something um, that, you know, it was another part of the reason why I went live at eight. But, uh, you know, in my mind, the models were were lined up together. You know, it's like, awesome. You know, I can cover the floods in California and the severe, potential severe weather down in Texas. Um, but it didn't happen didn't happen we were early again for this freaking rain i need to find a model that's correct we'll find a model blowfish what's going on evan i asked you a question what's my new year's resolution it's stupid my new year's resolution is stupid i just want to i want to 
post more shorts. <laughs> I want to test shorts out. I want to find out, you know, if people prefer, you know, the the longer forecasts or shorter, like super short forecasts, like brief, you know, and, and I'm trying to figure that out because videos, uh, they take a lot of time and a lot of energy and shorts, they don't necessarily take that much time. Um, and so when I'm live streaming, I'm like when I have like a long schedule of live streaming because of just of nonstop weather, I will most likely be posting more short updates than I would um, like video updates just because I don't have time and it wears me down. And um, but uh, but like if I have time and like say like there's seven days in between severe weather, um, then, you know, I'll have time to make a video or two um without really wearing myself down but that's the, what's one of the main things that i really have to focus on uh not doing is overworking myself because i've definitely overworked myself uh this past like three months like i'm exhausted <laughs> i'm still i'm just exhausted every day but i still go live for some reason i was gonna go till i can't go no more that's kind of the plan right now My is to help Evan get to 20k subs this year. It's possible. It's possible. I mean, we've grown so much and it's not even severe weather season. Although it's kind of felt like severe weather season. Not gonna lie. Sorry, I'll put this in motion for you guys. I need mods every now and then, but I just need one for now. But, you know, if we get a lot, like, eventually we will need another mod. But as of right now, Blondie does an amazing job. A lot of people use YouTube shorts, Devin. Devin, that's like that's like me saying nobody plays Roblox anymore. It's just a lie. <laughs> what happened to the old mod? Um, Liam. Uh, I don't really feel like talking about that publicly. Let's just say he made a big old mistake. Yeah, it's fine. There's just some drama, some some pretty disgusting drama. Which is crazy because I told it like, actually, never mind. I'm not going to go. I'm not going to talk about that. <laughs> Are you supposed to make a resolution not to complain when you're going to complain? Blondie is a model channel helper. <laughs> Frox, but you you are just funny. I love your puns. Absolutely love your puns. By the way, I want to apologize. If we have anybody here that's been here you know, watching the stream uh, for the storms that are coming towards California. I'm sorry. I looked at the model data and it lied to me. And it was only a couple, it was literally like an hour out. <laughs> oh, I don't understand it. It was wrong by like three hours, I get. And it was just an hour out. There's something about the West Coast that I just don't know yet that I need to start learning it's a blank spot in my brain i rarely ever pay attention to the west coast because y'all don't necessarily have a lot of weather there i do pay attention to you guys though uh when it's fire season that's when my sights set on the west coast i know a lot about fires and how they behave and how to monitor them and a lot of different resources um to like find evacuation orders and whatnot uh but like rain in california i guess i'm just 
terrible at that. <laughs> so I'm sorry. That's on me. Um, but I'm, I'm going to do some research and figure out where it's been going wrong. Oh, yeah. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider it. We do free forecasts, uh, free live streams. You don't need cable. Um, and we'll go down. You can give us your city. We'll look at it at any time. Unless we have like a bunch of people watching, then I can't do that. Um, but if it's one of these like chiller streams, I can always go to your area. Um, and, and, you know, if you want to see a forecast, whatever. You know, I do all that for free. So you can always be in tune with the weather um, for free. Um, with just a simple subscribe, clicking on the subscribe button and turning on post notifications so you don't miss out on those live streams when you can learn about the severe weather. I will also occasionally do 24 hour live streams to cover um, severe weather outbreaks. One of these days though, we're gonna have somebody working with me so I don't absolutely drain myself doing that. Get to be a member to what, Devin? One time my house was going to burn down and Evan saved me. Are you in the hep? Were you near the Hemet Fire Blowfish? Is that where you originally came from? No other news except the two in your box. Yeah. Let me go check on it. Oh, all right. Sorry about that, Shiori. I was too busy uh, just talking. So we have some more news here taken by Donna Barrow. Um, and as you can see, she caught some lightning on a photo. Well, I can retweet that. Um, let me, uh, before we go through this, I'm going to put her link in the chat if you guys want to show her some support. I would suggest you do. It's always nice to be nice to people, but she caught some great photos here of not only the lightning, but also some of these lowerings here um, associated with the severe thunderstorm warning, I'm guessing. I'm trying to figure out where in Houston, Texas. Yeah, so that was that severe thunderstorm warning. But yeah. Look at that. That's a great, great catch. It's hard to catch lightning like that um, with a photo. But again, that's Donna Barrow. Thank you for that. Uh, let's go here. Oh, wow. Waves crashing on No Yo Higher Harbor, Fort Bragg, California. So, this is some of the waves you can expect as this storm continues to uh, make landfall. Uh, again, this is near Fort Bragg, California. You'll like and retweet this. This is Laurel. And looks like, oh, here's a big blown up version of it. Let me uh, go over to here. There's their link. The cam is still getting some incredible lightning, really. I might have to check the cam out as we end the stream. That's what we'll do. Um, but yeah, there's, there's the link, links in the chat. And here is that, uh, the photo of the waves. Thank you, Laurel, for, um, posting. And Shirori says beautiful, and I agree. All right. Um, oh yeah. So now we're going to go over to here. Apparently there's still good lightning. Let me check the radar here. Kind of looks like a separate storm. Wow. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of getting worried about a, a little bit of a flooding threat here. This line of rain, it really isn't moving too fast uh, near north and west Houston and up to northern Houston. Let me show you here really quick. Oh, oh no! Luckily, this is YouTube. Holy crap. I switched the camera at the worst port part, but we can go back. Okay, 
Okay, we'll go back 51 seconds. Check this out. The lightning bolt hits this building. Someone clip this when it happens again. I literally switched it and then it struck the building. I was like, what? I think it struck the building. Just watch. It's coming. I promise. That was insane. Oh, it did hit the building. Oh my goodness. Birding, you clipped that. Birding's going to get a great clip of that. Put that in slow motion too, Birding. That was in Insane. I'm gonna save. I'm gonna save all the extra watching for when birding posts it. But wow! Wait, I didn't know I had my video editor up this entire time. Are you kidding me? No wonder it's been running a little clunky. Wow! That was crazy. Good night, Elva. I don't think she sent a sunset. Do you not have, do you, do not open, okay. I clipped it, okay. That's fine, I'm gonna wait for Birding to post it. Because I want her to get the credit. I mean, this is her, she found this cam, I'll let her get all the, all the, all the love for capturing it. But man, that was crazy. And I lit, the funny thing is I literally switched the cam from into the radar right when that happened i was so pissed but i remembered it's a youtube video <laughs> i was like no <laughs> oh that was crazy tater tot says help me what do you need help with tater tot <laughs> okay so we're gonna we're gonna do one more update on all these severe thunderstorms we're gonna look one more time at california and then we're gonna end the street what are you kidding me even on a zero percent tornado day when i'm about to end the stream we get a rotating storm. I'm cursed. I think that's hail. I think I'm pretty sure that's hail. Oh, sorry I missed this. Um, but Proxima donated $50 via Venmo. Which I get to keep 100% of. Ha ha, YouTube. <laughs> I mean, but yeah, this is definitely rotation, but there's also, so if I circle that and then I put the reflectivity over it, that's also in a hail core. So that could look worse than what it does, but they, they tend to tornado warn these kind of storms. But again, thank you, Proxima, for that $50 Venmo. Everybody spam the wow emoji with the cakes for Proxima. We haven't spammed cake for Proxima in a while. Wow, 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 wow. There we go. So we'll have to see what this storm ends up doing. I sure hope they don't tornado warn it. We, we, we are obligated to watch it, though. It could get tornado warned. We'll watch it. Let me put this in dual pain. As I'm feeling double the amounts of pain. 
<laughs> That's crazy, dude. It's supposed to be a 0% day. But while we wait for the newest update, we're going to go back and look at this lightning here in Houston. Thank you, uh, Luis Couch and Robert Fer Fer Ferrari uh, for subscribing. Sorry if I absolutely butchered your name. But I appreciate it. On the road to 2,000 subscribers. We'll get there eventually. Hold on, I gotta put back on the music. I mean, this is definitely hail causing that. But the question is, are like, see this, this right here, that blue, that's the hail. So we'll wait for the next scan here. We'll keep watching it. They're definitely going to keep it severe thunderstorm worn because it's dropping like probably up to 1.5 inch hail. Let me warn everybody in front of this, by the way. Hold on. Oh, thank you. Not today for becoming a member. That's a big commitment and we totally appreciate it. As that's monthly revenue that helps out the channel reoccurring. So I do appreciate that. And also we're working on doing more things for the members, but man, we've been busy. It's not fair. It's not fair to y'all, but, and I'm sorry. But yes, let's warn everybody in the path of this storm that's Mersund. And then if they extend this, which I'm pretty sure they are going to, it's gonna be Dupre, Dupre, Chipley, and Victoria. Oh, you guys are gonna be all in the path of this storm. It's, it is outflow dominant. Um, that looks like there's rotation, but again, uh, that's the hail wrapping around the mezzo. Uh, I think there is rotation, but not this much. When hail wraps around a mezzo, it makes the uh, velocity spike. Um, so keep that in mind. But yeah, that's the latest update waiting on the next radar update. But yeah, thank you. Not today for the membership. That's a good tasty car. That is something that I think we all need to work on. You never get perfect at that, I don't think. Aw, thank you, not today. I appreciate that. I do be pushing myself a little bit too hard, though. <laughs> uh, not the smartest. Which is good. It's good for y'all because if I was smart and healthy, I wouldn't be doing this to myself. But I'm not. <laughs> if I was sane. Oh, yes. Let's go. Burning Peep has the lightning vid posted. The lightning vid that hit a building that I swear is going to get at least like 10k views. That's my prediction. All right, let's uh, start this from the very beginning. So this is Burning Peep. Peep's post. As you can see, birding peep. Let's go over to our page. Birding peep. 
And then in chat, birding peep. Y'all go over to her page, give her some follows. But most importantly, let's go over here and ch and check out her video. And I want you guys to go into the link in the chat again. I know I'm so needy, but Bernie Peep works hard too. She deserves followers, likes, retweets, and notoriety for her hard work. Um, but yeah, so here is what I'm assuming is a slow. Oh my goodness. Oh, dude, that's gonna, that is going to go viral. I'm telling you, Birding, that's gonna go viral. All of you guys go over to her page and like this video, because this is in Houston. So somebody from Houston is going to reach out to you. And then this is like one of those videos that like CNN would be like, oh my gosh, we did not expect this weather, but look at this ginormous lightning bolt smash into this building. <laughs> Cause you know how they like overhype everything. <laughs> but wow. It looks like it turns on the lights. Look, the lights are off and then the lightning bolt strikes. And then watch, the lights turn on afterwards. Well, I guess not in that slow-mo. But watch in the fast-mo, and then the lights turn on. <laughs> well, I could watch this like a thousand times. That is nuts. But yeah, y'all better be going over there and liking and retweet this. Please, just if you haven't done it before, when I asked you, this is the time to go like and retweet. Again, we're watching Birding Peeps video over and over and over again. That is nuts. What a powerful bolt. Wow. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I can't stop watching. All right, I'm only going to watch it two more times, I promise. Like, imagine being in that building when that happens. Uh, it's, that had to have been, like... I would have pissed my pants, I'm just gonna be honest. Would have definitely peed my pants. Oh, no. That is crazy. Yeah, this is gonna... This is gonna launch. This, this has to launch. All right, we got ten re we got ten likes and five retweets. Come on, we got more. How many people we got watching? We got forty two people watching. Come on. Hold on, let me put the link back in the chat. This, we're we're gonna try to make a video go as viral as possible. Good, good. Yeah, for sure, birding. All right, look, we have 42 people watching. Now, all 42 of you, I want to see this number drop fast because you guys are going over to Birding Peeps page. Come on. Come on. Go over to her page. Come on. The link's in the chat. It's going up. No. <laughs> Click on the link, and then come over to here with me. Come follow me. And then you like and retweet. You like, and then you retweet. Ah! Sorry. Because this is crazy. We're going to make this blow up the best way that we can. You got to like... And retweet, like, and retweet. Come on, everybody! 
the same at the same time let's go like and retweet <laughs> and repeat <laughs> i'm sorry y'all it's just such an awesome video if like when when some when something causes me to watch it like five times i have to i i, yeah, I mean that's i watched it more than five times and each one of those times I watched it, I was technically watched it twice. I w no, I wanted them to do it with me, not say it with me. All right, let's see what's going on over here. Oh, wow. On January 6th, a volcano erupted. Ooh. Hold on. This might be one of those things we can't show. Yeah, it's a storm chaser. Shoot. Shory, ask him if we can uh, watch that, but we can't. You have to get, uh, you have to get uh, permission for that one. Almost screwed up. I showed a second of it, unfortunately. So technically, I did screw up. But yeah, do not send me stuff from uh, storm chasers. I can't show that. Um, let's see here. What were we doing again? Right. Like and retweet. Let's see how it's doing. Not bad. Not bad at all. You did pretty good. 17 out of 40 people watching. Not bad. All right, let's go back over to this... Uh, storm just to make sure that it's not rotating it's still rotating but um uh, yeah they didn't even put a tor they extended it but they didn't put a tornado possible tag on it so they're smart uh because it is hail that's causing the velocities to work worse than it is and it's completely outflow dominant so i don't think that there's actually any rotation with it it just looks like there is um, but yeah, this is going towards Dupree, Victoria, Chipley, uh, Guadalupe, Wood High, DaCosta, Inez. You guys need to all be in your indoors and away from windows. But yeah, I don't think that's going to go tornado warned. Let me just check other places. Okay, we're all good. We're all good. I don't think we're going to get any more tornado warnings. We'll do one more. Let's get out of this confusing view for you guys. We only go into that view. Uh, whenever we have to so we have another road closure here uh, SR 128 due to flooding so we do have flooding ongoing in between uh, San Francisco and Fortuna and Eureka so of course um, it's getting started right when I was gonna hit my four-hour mark and end the stream uh, which we are still gonna do uh, but if you live really anywhere from just north of san francisco all the way up to eureka um you guys need to be super weather aware going into tonight um uh, but yeah i have to i have to rest and i can't do 24 hour streams every day um uh, unfortunately but one of these days we will be able to because we'll have a team of broadcast uh weathermen working together to do 24-hour storm coverage. What happened to my music? There we go. But yeah, so that's the latest update there. Come back over to here. All right, guys. Well, that was another successful live stream. Uh, we're not going to go live tomorrow. I might work on the video for the potential severe weather depending on i mean four days out i might do a four day out video or i might just make another short uh, i'm probably not going to make another short it's going to have to be a video if i do anything so i'll probably start working on the video tomorrow and then i'll have it up on day three because uh, i can work on a lot of parts on it uh, but that'll give me a chance to rest my voice because I don't get, I don't really have to talk too much for a video. Uh, but thank you everybody for tuning in again. Thank you GS70, uh, Stealth for donating, Proxima for donating. Um, also, what was his name? Shoot. Um, I'll find it. I'm gonna scroll all the way up. 
not today also thank you uh for becoming a member thank you to everyone that has subscribed thank you to everybody that liked thank you to everybody that followed me over to the twitter pages to like and subscribe people we're all working as a team here not only to keep people informed make sure they get the credit that they deserve we have a bunch of missions here on this channel um and we're gonna i think we're gonna achieve all of them i think we are um uh, birding peep that that tweet's gonna go crazy i'm telling you if it doesn't you, you can i don't, I, I, mean, I i just don't see any possibilities um but yeah uh also thank you blondie for modding and shiori for doing the news um yeah so again uh, i'll probably see you guys in a video on day three if there is a day three risk to cover um and then i will see you live again on monday that's the plan but until then y'all take it easy and stay safe um yeah <laughs>